Hello everybody and welcome back to the 2024 Pokemon Let's Go Any% Percent Animus Tournament. My name is Trevaria and I will be on commentary for you today. And joining me on today's all Pika couch are fellow 2023 semi-finalist Dynam, as well as the runner holding the current median time for round one of this year's tournament, Chrysosaurus. Dynam Crisis, how are you doing? Uh, you tell me, it is currently 6 a.m. Welcome to the uh, time zone race of all time. I am ready to go, I think. And it's actually a reasonable time here in Europe. It's only like, what, coming up to approach two, 2 in the afternoon. I think both some, well, at least two of us had decent sleep, whereas one of us probably didn't have that much sleep because someone had uh, decided to do a fun little thing of watching yesterday's watching yesterday's run instead of sleeping but you know last run instead of sleeping but you know what people make interesting choices all day listen it was a good race all right That's just like how name of this go. race is going to be absolutely because we have some strong competitors in this time zone race today uh first up we have aspect here in the upper left corner playing pika version only pika today uh obviously aspect <laughs> kind of the reason for this uh, interesting time slot here today, uh, since he's from Australia. Um, also known for using, for putting on the rocket uniform during the tournament last year, if I recall correctly. I believe that is correct. We love a good outfit change mid-run. <laughs> and then from part two we have Fusarian in the lower left corner running EV. Uh, Joined the scene between tournaments and already got an impressive 303 PB uh, in a short amount of time. So I predict that this is going to be quite the close race here at the top line between Aspect and Sarian. And then, of yeah. course, yeah, third runner here in the upper right, it's Albi, uh, who has a 312 PB currently. Probably gonna face a bit of an uphill battle, but you know, we've learned in the past that you should never count an underdog out. Also, this game has a fun way of saying uh no you uh when it wants when it wants, because uh this game does have RNG and if uh, my profile picture says anything, anything can happen. Oh yeah, definitely. So right now this is the beginning of the game, we're gonna do some settings, we're going to Turn animations off, something I wish we could do in Skull and Violet, but you know, we'll, that's fine. Uh, text speed to fast, battle style to set, and of course, turn off movies, which only skips five movies, but you know what? Uh, five is better than none. Oh, definitely. We take all that we can get here. Plus, in this game, compared to Scarlet and Violet, at least the definition of movie is consistent. I'm just realizing because all three of us are Scarlet and Violet, Violet runners, this is just gonna be. <laughs> A stream where we air our grievances about Scarlet Violet in comparison to Let's Go. Yeah. I mean, I also have experience in other in all other Pokemon games, so I can also just talk bad about every other Pokemon game if I so wish. But that's not all we're here to do today. Here, we're going to get into our first catch of the run. T technically, it's a it's a free it's a free catch in its old form, where you can even just like normally not miss the ball, but like don't even get even close to a great. It will still be caught anyway, because this is, of course, our starter for the entire run. Yeah. That's back. Catches Pikachu here. Not a neutral Pika. Yeah, also, fun fact see... if you. Sorry, yeah. Go oh, ahead. yeah. Uh, to elaborate on, on that, you can see the uh, combat power in the upper right hand corner whenever you catch a Pokemon. For Pikachu specifically, if it is 27 CP, you'll know that it is a neutral nature, and neutral being that it does not have any net gain or boost to any of its stats, but being 26, it means that it will have a positive nature and a negative, or positive stat boost and a negative stat drop. For those who don't know what natures are, natures is a, natures is a thing a Pokemon can have, which gives a 10% boost to one stat, while also decreasing 10% in another stat. A uh, little known thing about neutral natures that people don't know is that it actually just increases and decreases the same stat by 10%. It doesn't just do nothing. Which I, which is actually pretty interesting, but... The main thing is, we do not want to see minus attack, 
Ideally, we do not want to see minus special attack, and if you're Eevee, you probably also don't want to see minus speed. So I'm interested I'm to see saying. whether the EV runners check their nature in the lab right here, or if they okay. just go with it. I know that Yozarian was talking about that they have a... Uh, that he has a backup save just in case something goes wrong with his EV, so we'll see if he ends up checking it. Well, I can yeah. tell you right now, Aspect is going with it, so whether this Pikachu has plus attack, minus attack, or whatever nature it has, because we know it's not neutral thanks to uh, the CP, at least, I believe. Okay, so, Zarin is checking. Be... Timid, that doesn't sound good. No. Yeah, is swapping to the backup. So this uh, is a little bit slow, loses a minute just on loading the backup save here, but at least he's going to have a neutral EV to run with, so... Rough start to get a bit nat bad nature. I believe Alby is also just going, so she's just taking whatever she gets with this EV. Yeah, I didn't see her check, so I'm going to have to assume that she's just no, she going for it, which... Huge respect, honestly. Uh, it's a choice. Yeah, minus attack, EV, also minus speed, EV. That that can be really, really annoying to run. Yeah, typically when it comes to, like runnability, Pikachu typically has the better runnability. In terms of, you can kind of just take almost whatever. Obviously, minus attack, minus special attack, you're going to have some problems. Whereas EV tends to have less runnability because minus speed is also... Uh, a problem, but we'll get to more of the differences between Pikachu and Eevee and how, since most of us are Pika runners, we can uh, have our little fun slandering Eevee whenever we want and no one's gonna yeah. tell us to do otherwise. There will be zero Pika slander on the stream, I guarantee For once. <laughs> yeah, coming off of the Friday uh, afternoon race, American time, where I was severely outnumbered by Pika runners on the, on the couch. This is a uh, Nice change of pace here. Anyway, everyone has made it back to the lab. Well, not quite, because Aaron just now leaving the lab to pick up the parcel. Again, that's the minute difference from loading the backup here. Yeah, and now we're heading to uh, Rival 1, of which there are, depending on who you ask, either 5 or 6 fights of Rival. Depending on how you count champion. And and this fight is pretty simple. You, if you're Pikachu, you spam Thunder Shock, and if you're Eevee, you spam Tackle. Uh, and normally, this is a normal fight. This is tend to be a five hit turn. And we can at least tell from Aspects Pikachu that he's not plus defense. So he d he didn't roll the bat. He didn't roll a bad at least plus. At least for now, we don't know about special defense yet. A little annoying actually that Aspect immediately paralyzes the Eevee because as you can see right now, uh, status can generate lag from the game having to wait for the animation to play, or I think it's the sound that has to play all the way through. And specifically, so Paralysis can also paralyze you, which is unfortunately happening on Albi's stream. Yeah, that's that's the reverse. Uh, yeah, I think I'd, ra I think I'd rather uh, pa accidentally paralyze the Eevee than get paralyzed by a Pikachu, in full honesty. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah, status lag is annoying, and from if at least from what I can tell, status lag is there's an animation that has. It was to a be... shiny. It was a shiny <laughs> Oddish. It was a sh yeah, there was a shiny spark on Aspect screen, but he couldn't see it because oh my gosh, it gets, uh, activates, it gets uh, removed. So there was a shiny the unobtainable, that was there, the unobtainable was shiny Oddish. That sucks. <laughs> is is that the first shiny that we've seen in races so far? I have not yeah. been keeping track of things. Assuming I nothing happened in the in the previous race, that would be a yes. All right, yeah. Tfat, get on that stat tracker, if you will. Anyway, uh, Aspect and Albi now making it to the Verta fight on that one. This is where Aspect will be able to tell his Pikachu's stats on level up. Uh, EV levels up one fight later, since the rival EV for some reason gives one more XP than the rival Pikachu. I'm having a camera up ready so I can actually take a picture of what these stats are so I can tell you what nature it is. That's minus attack. Oh, that's definitely minus, attack. minus attack. Oh no. This yeah, uh... is starting off so wild. Timid Eevee for Yazarian to, to load the backup. Now Timid Pikachu yeah. as well. 
for Aspect. Except that at least Albi has a decent EV here. Yeah, unfortunately with Eevee, you don't actually get to see uh, your level up in this fight because you are missing exactly one experience point. Is At least from what I can tell, I believe it's either Eevee gives you one more experience point or Eevee requires one more experience point to evolve. To not evolve, level up, so. Because of that, if you really want to know what your nature is by the stats, you're actually going to have to wait to the next youngster fight, so. This is where, assuming if... Assuming Albi doesn't catch anything beforehand, uh, we should know what the uh, nature of this Eevee is going to be. Well, I'm not because I don't know Eevee stats, so... There's else no can. possible way that we get three timid starters in a row, right? There's no possible way. Uh... Also, apparently for Aspect, this is the fifth time in a row that uh, he's gotten a uh, minus attack Pikachu during a tournament run. Which is, and I calculated this before the stream, a 0.01% chance to happen. So that's just some incredibly bad luck for them. All right, Albie, show us what you got. That was an attack AV for sure, but I think neutral attack, I didn't see anything else. So at least it's not another timid. Well, at least when Eevee right. learns yeah. double kick, we will for sure know what the nature is. Sure, yeah. Randall says naive. Uh... Plus, be my special defense. Ah, could be worse. Yeah, I mean, Eevee actually has a little bit of a benefit from that plus speed nature. Can potentially outspeed some other th stuff uh, on Route 9 and, and so on. Uh, also, nice Pikachu spawn for Albi here before the Pidgey fight, so it's gonna be able to avoid that sand attack. Also, for Yasarian. Early Imagine so just not having a Pikachu. Oh, not the breakouts. Oh no, don't do a me of the Oddish, please. Had to do it, Raz. Excellent. Alright, so we probably should actually explain what we're actually doing here. So, we are catching Pokemon, not because, uh, you know, it's cool to catch Pokemon and cool to have a Pikachu if you're playing Eevee, but also the fact that. Catching Pokemon fulfills two things. One, it is our experience. So, how this game works is that experience is very much heavily distributed to catching Pokemon instead of actually battling trainers. So, we're only going to be battling the trainers that we uh, need to. But the main other reason is the fact that we need to fulfill a specific requirement to um, be enter Koga's gym. We need to have 50 Pokemon registered in our Pokedex so that we can actually enter Pokoga's gym, so that we have a, uh, so we so we can actually you know beat the game. Yeah, that's what that little uh, two out of fifty in the upper corner of the runner's uh, name tags is signifying. Saren does not seem to have marked anything on his counter on his tracker yet. You know, sometimes it's a bit difficult to, you know, play the game and, you know, track at the same time. It's definitely a small piece. I also want to point out that your Siren Pikachu uh, was super sized, and so his EV is level 9 now from just the one catch. Another shiny! The, another shiny! shiny. Wait, wait, wait. Shiny in this race. Is that shiny <laughs> Caterpie? I it's think like it might be, yeah. now. What is this race? <laughs> Unfortunately, it might not be an optimal bug, as this bug was was made before the law, so it'll be an interesting choice if Yozaren chooses to pick it up. But yeah, it is yeah, a shiny it's, caterpie. It's golden! Why are you going to the regular one? <laughs> Get it. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, the, considering Wait. he's already level 9, I probably would have just gone for the shiny. Just, just... On principle. <laughs> no, nah, but it's not optimal. You need... you want the higher yeah. level. I know, I know. You don't want to waste time with level ups that you don't need. Anyway. Yeah, the runners are going to be looking to catch both of the early game bug types here, because that's three nice deck entries per catch, uh, with very little time passed to evolve them. And then also the grass type, version exclusive grass type, so that's Buzzsprout for EP version. Which is Arian is catching right now, and Oddish for Pika version. 
uh, Pika version will then also use the Oddish for the Brock fight, since it can basically one-shot both of Brock's Pokémon with just an Absorb each. But sadly, Buzzsprout can't do that, since it doesn't know a special class set move. The Eevee version has to rely on using Double Kick, which is a little bit slower. Or you can catch a Frick. That works well, too. Yeah, you do just need the grass type on EP version to be admitted into the gym. But, uh, so you can potentially just catch a Bulbasaur, but of course Bulbasaur is much, much rarer than Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout getting their uh, version exclusive grass type Oddish. Coming out of forest, very nice. Yeah, normally with Oddish, you probably either want if you want to if you're getting an Oddish in the forest, you'd rather get Oddish first so that it at least becomes level nine. But sadly, this Oddish is now only going to be level seven. But at least you don't have to go through Route Two Roulette. So, yeah, I could imagine aspects going for yeah, like that's... a Rattata on Route Two to get that Oddish at least to level eight because at level seven is very unlikely to one shot the Onyx. Uh... Is there I'm struggling to get that Weedle to spawn because uh, that's the only bug that uh, he's missing. Uh, also, we're going to say goodbye to that shiny Caterpie, so we'll never see it ever again. Well, now. Wait. We, we, we had the shiny Oddish for Aspect and the shiny Caterpie for Usarian, so now we just need a shiny for Albi to spawn. It's gonna be a shiny bonjour. I can feel it right now. <laughs> that would be so good. <laughs> a I sign that this time zone race is blessed by Arceus above. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's gonna go for that regular uh, yeah. rat attack here. Makes sense. You want? You want? If your Onyx is at least level ten, you can guarantee uh, the Oko on Onyx. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, level 9 it is a range depending on how good a spe your special attack is, and uh, I don't think level 8 or below is a guarantee, but you can always just use growth to make it a guarantee on turn 1. Yeah, it is uh, It is possible at, at uh, level 8 it's just less likely to have that set requirement, or to meet that set requirement um, to get the one shot at level 8, so... Although that being uh, said, uh, technically there is a chance that Oddish gets like, what, two uh, special attack AV, so it might yeah. be possible. And the thing is, this Oddish at level 8 now is going to hit level 9 from the Geodude experience, I think. So uh, it should be good. it should be fine to one-shot the Onyx unless it's minus special attack, which I know I said it now, so I probably jinxed it. I'm sorry, Aspect. Just had to say it, didn't you? I just had to. Look, I, I have to tell the people out there about the possibilities. <laughs> Didn't you just say before we went live that you don't believe in commentators' curse, or was that somebody else? I said that. I said that in the green room, but I specifically was talking about that commentators' curse doesn't apply if you say something in the green room. Now we're on air. Now it's real. <laughs> Fair. All right. Aspect now heading into the into the gym with seven catches and obviously putting Oddish in the front of the party. Uh, this fight is pretty simple if you are uh, Pikachu, all you have to do is uh, click Absorb twice, sometimes three times, and you win the game. The only problem is that the Onyx is faster than you, and it does have an annoying move called Headbutt, which 70% uh, of the time, uh, you're fine. Uh, but there is that 30% of the time where something can happen. But that's of course if it picks the move, if it picks Headbutt to go for it. But that's not always the case. Yeah, I can also just go for Rock Pro, which you always want to see when running Pikachu. Alright. So let's see if it has level 9 here. Oh, def that definitely hits level 9. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can also see the special attack. That's yeah, that, that should be good, but it's yeah. so slow. It's so slow. That might be a problem in the future. Whereas Eevee has, a, has to do a little bit of a different strat where because. Uh, Weeping Bell learns by Whip and not Absorb. It count. It has to hit on the physical side, so Eevee tends to be a bit better to deal with. And to do so, all you have to do is Tail Whip, Double Kick twice on the Geodude, and then same thing with the Onyx, Tail Whip plus more Double Kick. It does take a little bit longer. It's so slow. Yeah, you, you don't have to. You don't have to Tail Whip the uh, Geodude. 
Oh, you don't? Statue. Okay. Uh, I just go statue I'm, to I'm double kick. But it's still a, a 5 turn fight compared to the 2 turn fight that Pika has with the others. Sometimes 2 turn fight. It can be 3 or 4 or 7. Don't ask why it was 7. Aspects screaming into the void why the Geodude outspeeds the Oddish. Yeah, it's a low level. Seemingly. No, no, no. no. This Oddish, Oddish is just the slowest Oddish, at least yeah. according to Titan, that he's probably ever seen. Yeah, probably yeah. gonna have to do late Sanctuary fight in Mamuna now because the Oddish is so slow. Uh, honest, you're gonna... I don't even know if late Sanctuary even matters. <laughs> well, if it's, if it's like level 14, I think it should outspeed it. Even well, let's see what he, he chooses to do. Uh, we'll, we'll cross our fingers. Yeah. Now here comes uh, the first shop of the entire of the entire game. Uh, Pikachu and Eevee do have slightly different shops. They buy slightly different items. Uh, I know for a fact that here you buy an X Defend early if you're Pikachu, and Eevee you don't buy an X Defend yet, and you buy a Burn Heal. That X Defend will come way later if they yeah. choose to do the strat for a specific fight. But the we're that here to buy... buy here, yeah. Yeah, we're here to buy a few Great Balls, because Great Balls are better than Pokeballs. We're also here to buy one X Attack and one X Special. There are a strat with Pikachu that you can buy more X Attacks, but this is minus this is minus Attack Pikachu, so that's not going to happen. So we see one X Special, one X Attack, and uh, what else do you buy here? It's Great Balls, X Items, oh, Antidotes, and uh, yeah. Awakenings and, uh, as well. Awakening. Notably it, here, uh, Aspect is choosing to buy the X Defense, which may signal an early, like, basically, like, you have the option to buy other things on Pika, say, like, a Burn Heal to replace the X Defense for race strats specifically. Buying an X Defense here means that Aspect is assumedly locking in for the possibility of 1C uh, Giovanni 3 later on. We'll see whether or not uh, they decide to go for that based of, like, off of how far ahead really they are. I was going to say, this is also like the opinion that on specifically the turn, the, the fight that you need to burn heal, like, you know, Misty, uh, I always just assume that Pikachu is just going to die if we get hit by a skull, but I know, we'll see. Yeah, there are ways that you can get around it, especially considering that aspect is minus attack and timid. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you could 2 see the fight, um, but we'll... I wouldn't be surprised if he does, but again, depend, again, none of that matters because first we need to get to level 15. Exactly, and to do that, we're gonna have to catch a bunch more Pokemon in Mount Moon, also on Route 3, but neither of our two runners that have made it to this Pokemon Center uh, saw any of the desirable bonus catches on Route 3. That would be Sentry and Mankey for Pika version and Ekans for Eevee version. Oh! Well, okay. a big Rock Snake. <laughs> Thankfully, the cutscene trigger is very early, so you don't really have too much of an opportunity to get owned by spawns there, but it does happen occasionally. Although, I will be honest, I don't think, I would think Aspect would probably go for Rock Snake just for the experience alone if one would spawn, because with Minus Attack, you want to be as high level as you possibly can just to mitigate the downside of Minus Attack. For sure, Aspect's definitely hoping for a bunch of pink things to spawn in here. Yeah, it'd be better um, than me, and I didn't get any at all. Oh yeah, that's that's true. Uh, so yeah, uh, runners in Mount Moon are hoping for usually the, the, the three basic spawns are Teferi, Paris, and you do it in descending order of importance. Uh, and then there's also a couple of options that you can go for. You can theoretically catch Zubat here, but it's not really a great catch because it doesn't really give a lot of experience. And you can catch it later, where it's one level of evolving into Golbat, which would be more efficient. But then also you can catch uh, an evolved Colfable that has, I, I believe, a one percent chance to spawn on the on the bottom floor. And there's also a rare chance of a Chansey spawning, which I believe is the single highest experience yield for any catch in the game. I would make the most amount of sense. And while it is while it is nice for any of our runners to get Chansey, uh, what I least have heard, it is more optimal for Pikachu to get the Chansey spawn here, because being able to, you know, Thunderbolt Misty is, is like pretty nice if you can get to that point. Whereas with 
Eevee, it is actually slightly better, if I'm not mistaken, to delay the chance. Obviously, you can't control the chance he spawn, but if you want to get a chance he spawn, it is probably better to get it later. Yeah, and there's other factors, too, that uh, determine whether or not you should go for Chansey. Like, right now, uh, everybody's doing some party management aspect, getting his low-level Pokemon out of the party. If you see a Chansey and you have Magic over the party, you're really, like, teetering on the fence on whether you really actually want it due to the fact that you're getting so many extra level-ups. Every level-up takes approximately two seconds. Every move learn approximately four along the level-up. So you just kind of really have to weigh the cost benefit of oh, oh no what? the pink spawn. <laughs> that's Goodbye, just Clefairy. rude. That's just that's just unfortunate. Yeah, but the great yeah, thing I... about Let's Go is that like you're balancing not only just doing the speed run, but also just micromanaging all of these like little decisions as well while you're catching Pokemon, trying to manage your party. Going, Speaking of big pink things, there is a, a chance. Oh, there is a Chansey. And, oh, I just see it. And yeah, Yuzarin is going for the Chansey. Uh, this is... Wait, no, Eevee did the lore earlier, so this is, uh, yeah, this is still not the greatest catch in the world, but... Going for double grade oh. here, which is what you want to do. There's the attack. Can see if Yuzarin gets the Chansey. Oh, no. Ooh, misses oh, the circle. Just, just a little off-center. That's so unfortunate. Hoping that still gets in. Never yes, there we go. Never you're not going to get really much experience, but you know what? It's still going to be a good amount of experience. Yeah, 795. Better get the EV to 15, which is what you're looking for. Gets the Kakuna evolved. Not too many extra levels, which is nice. Just the one extra on the Kakuna. So that was the upside. Um, honestly, probably the best that could have happened here. Still getting, getting it on the first ball, but without the highest possible multiplier. That probably would have gotten the Kakuna to like... 14 or something. Uh, anyway. I'll be finding uh, both a Geodude and a Paris already. Yeah, Aspect also saw Clefairy spawn, uh, was going for the glowing Geodude, so it's probably gonna go for the Clefairy next. Yep. So he should be fine. Also gets double moon stone. Very nice. Uh, should be fine on spawns. Oh, oh, did he? Nope. Okay. Oh, hey, he was ladder. about to leave. No! <laughs> He was kind Don't of trapped in uh, a rock in a Zubat. Aspect trying to play some DDR to get to, to that Clefairy. <laughs> Everything is getting in the way for Aspect. Finally got to the small pink thing. No! Ah, uh, I tried to go for the yellow ball and just and Clefairy being like, nah, I'm gonna attack instead. I'm still in the camp that Yolo throwing Clefairy is objectively correct, but I feel that everybody that's done it so far I'll, in I this tournament also, has gone punished. I, I would agree that Yolo throwing is the correct choice, except if you're running minus attack and you really need the experience. Like, yeah. Pidgey being level 13, not qu I think that's still probably just enough experience. Ooh! Nice cl going Clefairy for Albi. It's gonna be on a. That's gonna be a good experience for her. Yeah, Aspe or Albi rather, uh, getting rewarded for resetting the room and with a glowing Clefairy. Very nice. Yeah. Aspect just needs uh, Paris here, and he'll be fine. Oh, he is missing a little bit of experience. He is only level thirteen. You do need to be level fifteen uh, before Misty. Not because we need to hit any ranges, or because the, the gym just literally be becomes like, nope, you're not allowed in. Actually, yeah, this minus attack Pikachu will have to hit a range to uh, knock out the Starmie, so that's why you really have to get higher than level 15. Yeah, yeah but the... I don't even think that this Pikachu is going to get level 15 with just the fights alone. It's just barely level 13, so I think he needs to catch at least like one extra thing, whether yeah. that be either Zubat in here or uh, something outside. It looks like everyone else got everything as well, so experience-wise, everyone's set except Aspect. Yeah, typically, what you, wanna, typically okay. what you want to see here for a, right before you fight the Rocket Trainer is your starter being at level 14 in like a quarter, and then the trainer fights exiting Mount Moon will get you to 15 by that point. So yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll see what Aspect well, is. Well, and Yuzarin, they're completely fine. I'll be being 15 and Yuzarin being 17. I think they are completely fine for the fights. 
coming up, even in Rock in Rock Tunnel Wars. That's me level four. I think still thirteen, if not fourteen. Just or just barely reach fourteen is gonna struggle a little bit. There are backups if you really need to get to level fifteen before Misty. There's actually a rare candy in Cerulean that you can go pick up. That, funny enough, the Fire Red and Leaf Green Runners do pick up. So that guarantees you the fifteen if you are fourteen as a backup race track. You do have to go through two doors to get it, so it's not the fastest. Yeah, most runners will opt to instead if if their experience is very lacking, either fight rival for fifteen and then go directly to Misty, or just take the the Nugget Bridge route beforehand and then come back to Misty after they're done. I might be wrong of experience. I don't even think ri fighting rival is going to be enough experience to get no. to. Level 15 before Misty's it'll, it'll be interesting to see what he chooses. It depends. Yeah. But depends on his extra experience. Paris or Chansey. Paris, Chansey, or Clefable Spawn. Those are the only few things missing. If not, he might have to consider getting his back. Yeah, I'll hope for like a central Mankey on Rod 4 outside of Mount Moon. Yeah. But it is a rough position. I think, yeah, he, he just hit level 14. I think Rival will probably be enough to get him to 15 then. Because he's going to be like three quarters of the way to 15 after J&J. Yeah, see. And also the one of the bad sides of being minus attack in this fight is the fact that you're not going to 2-1-K of, of his Magnemite. Now you're confused. And that's the Supersonic. I've gotten hit confused three times in a row in this fight. It's not great. Okay, well, first fossil of the run is going to be Dome oh, Fossil. Jesus. Oh, that's an interesting choice. <laughs> We're yeah, going for Kabutops cool. Alt Main. Let's go. I'd be here for it. I don't know if it's going to be Fossil uh, Frosty. The first Jesse and James fight. We're going to be. This is our. Be the only double fights that we have to do with using one player. We're using the one player controller. Every other used to Pokemon fight will be using the second player controller, but this is the this is the one of like four fights that we don't, so here yeah, this is pretty simple if you're a Pikachu version you're gonna first Thundershock the oop pressing the wrong button but you're gonna Thundershock the coughing and then use the next special and then normally you're supposed to have Oddish on your second slot of the party. This but Butterfree still kinda does a decent job and ooh poison on the Pikachu banner socks. Yeah. You are going to have to take a menu to heal, but he has the menu anyway to deposit all his Pokemon. Oh, the so... lives! Oh, this is not a great 5-4 uh, aspect. This is, this is so rough for aspects. At least this turn, at least after this turn it is uh, over. Yeah, it's going to have to do a separate menu to heal the poison and the Pikachu to full. And yeah, oh, actually does he hit 15 up of this? No. Uh no. No, it's just barely not. So, but but rival so, is definitely gonna be enough. Uh, yeah, so he... he's gonna deposit he has to deposit anyway, so at least he can combine the menus, so it's not like the end of the world. Uh how does this fight go for Eevee? I have no idea. Uh headbutts. <laughs> oh yeah, that, yeah, X attack headbutt. That's Eevee's nice number one so, solution. <laughs> no Paris for Aspect. He's really hoping to see either Sandshrew or Mankey come out of this uh bonus just so that he can get enough experience level 15. Yeah, and not here. only is aspects low on experience, he, they're also like just low on catches in general. 12 coming out of Mount Moon okay, is not going... oh, there's a there's a great that the there's Sandshrew there's does make one. up for it a little bit. Going Sandshrew, let's be a good level please, come on. Don't give me level speed now. Oh, that, very good, very good. Waiting for the attack, that's the quicker attack. Okay. This should definitely... Oh no, this is pretty much guaranteed 15. Glowing Sandshrew fixes everything. Might even be 16. Ah, I wouldn't push it. Randall, why would you say Oh no, I don't do <laughs> Almost 17. Okay. okay. Oh, but he does get the 13 on the Butterfree. Oh dear. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh. So incoming just power can't moves. Win. <laughs> so... The good news is you got experience to be level 16 peak. You 17 for Misty. Yeah. Uh, the bad news is you have to take the trade off of uh, the Butterfree, so. 
Yeah, we didn't oh, mention too much about glowing Pokemon, but Pokemon can be glowing in the overworld. Red is big, blue is small, and they can also be secretly super size, which is super big or super small, which is denoted by the 26.4 excellent throw there for the experience modifier. Uh, speaking Usually of good thing, Atkins, but Albi does get herself an Atkins, so that's cool. Very nice. Was for the ones you hear, which means it's gonna be yeah negligible experience, but always nice to have that extra catch on the books. Uh, another nice thing about the super size Sentry prospect though, he's gonna probably hit level 17 or definitely hit level 17 before that army so he's gonna have a better chance even with the minus attack to actually oko it with the the move that he's about to pick up in the pokemon center oh we get to talk about uh the fun moves so pikachu gets one gets one move and only teaches one move because pikachu only needs one move to be good whereas even needs three <laughs> Uh, the move that Pikachu is going to learn here is Zippy Zap, which is a 50 base power electric type move that has plus two priority and always crits. Whereas Eevee here is actually going to learn three special moves of Buzzy Buzz, Sizzly Slide, and Bouncy Bubble. Uh, Buzzy Buzz is a 90 base power special type attack that always paralyzes. Uh, Bouncy Bubble is a, 90 is a 90 base power special move that or that heals 50% of the damage that you've taken, and Sizzly Slide is a 90 base power physical move which always burns the target. And all three of those moves will have its secondary effects be useful at some point or another, Buzzy Buzz having its most impactful role of paralyzing c coming up in this fight. These moves are really what carry the early to mid game for both versions, honestly. We get so much use out of that. I also really quickly want to point out how close this race still is after Mount Moon. Aspect is slightly ahead right here already done with the first trainer fight, but has the lowest catch count. And Yusarian is 34. just there. Uh, oh, just yeah. the gym. If he's not yeah. doing 2P, he has to take a 5 and 16 range on Misty. 5 and 16, yeah, probably gonna 2C then. No. He's going for it. Okay. Well, I respect it. <laughs> No, no, they did say that they were gonna go for GC Storm. Probably just gonna summon the battle. Oh, yeah, that is uh, true. But it is a uh, very poor range, even at level 17, just to go for a 5 and 16. Yeah, so there's the second oh. controller. Probably at least the fight with a second controller is very much consistent. Turn 1, use Zippy Zap and X Attack. Turn 2, use Zippy Zap plus Absorb. So if Pikachu doesn't isn't able to hit the range, uh, Otis should be able to clean up with them as well. Yeah. I'll be getting a nice crit on the Goldeen, by the way, finishing that fight up in one turn instead of the normal two. Ah, oh, I got the range. Hits the range. Didn't need the Otis. It's just that easy. Simply hit. Yeah, just sit, just hit the range. All right, Aspect can definitely breathe a sigh of relief now, because that's, uh, for the next couple of fights, the minus attack nature won't really come in and be too much of a problem. Oh, nice I'm... crit on the army. <laughs> well, Aldi's just getting crit after useful crit here. Let's freaking go. And that is Albi can be misty and now we if we if we don't see like another crit un unfortunate burn on the heat mm. on Yugarian, but the actual how the fight normally would go is you, you the starmie would go first you scold you would then retaliate with a buzzy buzz you then paralyze it so the next turn you may become much faster than the the starmie and be able to get out of the problem and if you don't get burnt there you usually have high enough hp to just do the rival fight that aspect is on right now without having to menu before, but because Yuzarian got burned there, he's going to have to heal the burn. Yeah, so uh, next up is Rival 2. Uh, ooh, that headbutt just barely did enough damage to hit KO the uh, Oddish. Uh, this is a, for Eevee, it's a pretty simple fight. You just 
hit the right move and you're just gonna be completely fine. Whereas for Pikachu, the only problem is the Oddish. And the Oddish can be. Uh, minus. Did you, did you just see how bad Minus Attack is for uh, Pikachu? Just not even be able to double kick to take the one hit knockout on the EV, even at level 17. Yeah. Level 18, 36. I don't even think you can even go for the 2 hit KO on using Headbutt on the coughing sooner or later. Yeah. No this beat. is just such a bad Pika, sadly. Minus attack really, really, really slows you down. It loses you so uh, many turns. Yeah, but I gotta say, for this race is definitely, like, really even. Like, even if it's, like, you see, like, story progression-wise aspect is slightly ahead of everyone else. Uh, but due to the catch counts, it's actually, like, way more closer than we actually think. They're all, like, one to two catch counts away, like, different from each other. So yeah, this is still absolutely anyone's race as we go into uh, the most boring section of the entire run, called uh, B Nugget Bridge. You say boring, I say this as opportunity for copypasta. For oh, sure, yeah, I was just about to bring up the 30 second copypasta, just because we were talking about the catch counts. Considering that Yosarian had to reload to get the, to get the backup starter here, so I was going into it with a one minute deficit. The fact that the race is this close again, we calculate with about 30 seconds per catch, even though that's not really accurate. Uh, Don't put the copy pass on the on the on the on the trip watch chat. This is this is now the time for it. Uh, yeah, he's just one fight behind uh, aspect here, so this is so close between all three of them. I'll be honest, it's still so early over here. I totally forgot that you sorry to reset for a new drop. Yeah. <laughs> That just goes to show how unlucky, unlucky aspect has been. Yeah, uh, uh, this is the only fight that can be a bit iffy for Pikachu, which is the Sandshrew. Ooh, oh boy. That sand attack's already, uh, made a miss. Okay, we're good. Not too much time wasted. At the very least, no, no poison sting into poison into extra menu, at the very least. Okay, she, fine, she... fine, she... We'll say one nice thing about Eevee. Eevee... Uh, it's an independent Pokemon that doesn't need anyone's help, whereas Pikachu requires the help of so many other po Pokemon. How about that? I, I, I will say something nice about Eevee, because unlike Eevee runners, I'm not, I'm not heartless. Uh, <laughs> uh, what I will say is that I think Eevee is just cuter than Pikachu. Debatable. <laughs> Nah, this is what Nugget Push does the commentary, everybody. Uh, we try and, we're literally trying to find things to say because uh, let's just say that Pikachu, uh, Nug Nugget Bridge is just like you mash A, you kind of win games. <laughs> yeah, what you... uh, yeah. What is that your favorite easy. type of nugget? Uh, I prefer I... nuggets of wisdom personally. Yeah, that's that's a good choice. I mean, I don't mind myself a good chicken nugget. Fair. Dino Kinda. chicken nuggets? Hmm? Do we even have dino chicken nuggets in the UK? I actually don't know. D how do you not have dino chicken nuggets in the UK? Do we it, Do we have to, like, ship you some over there? Are you that deprived? We definitely have them in Germany. Maybe it's a Brexit thing and they, they're they gone. <laughs> Oof. From My the Isles. Imagine. I mean, I don't get... Yeah, and now it's time for a uh, rocket fight. Uh, I'm pretty sure this fight is like pretty much uh, fine. Uh, for Aspect, it'll be a bit iffy because I don't think Headbutt 2 with KO is the coughing, so you're gonna have to go for. He's level 18, so I think I think it should still be a 2 with KO with Headbutt. It's definitely not gonna be a good range for Zippy Zap. No, Zippy Zap is not a guarantee. He could try for it if it's if he tries. No, he's no, gonna go for headbutt. I think that should, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, just and barely. Flinch, I guess we're playing. Nice. That flinch does stop the zippy tap for safety. Uh, understandably so. And now let's see. Do any of our runners go for uh, the skip that everyone says it's really hard? It's actually relatively easy, and it's called knock skip. It's easy Aspect to practice thing. it. <laughs> Oh, I'm so, I'm sorry. It's still a very easy skip. I'm sorry. 
Well, it's I find not it's skip also very like it's intimidating for sure because you have to not only you have to like skirt three trainers' vision at the same time. Like you move past the hiker, you move past the youngster that's or the bird keeper that's looking down, you move past the youngster that's looking up. It's like three Alexa skips in a row, basically. Right, here's my hot take. Not skip is easier than the Route 6 skip. The ones with over a million. Oh, I, potentially, yeah, considering that's probably the hardest one. And the one that most new runners have the, the most trouble with. Even I do have. I have to do something called texture setup just to get it consistently. Yeah, which you only can do if you have certain hardware, right? Uh, well, it helps if you put a notch on your controller. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, uh, no one got any spawns on this route. There are potentially some spawns that you can catch here, namely Venonat, also Meowth for Eevee version, and there's also a rare, very rare chance of uh, Grotto spawning. The elusive squat of that really does not like to spawn at all, and even if it does, it's debatable whether or not you should even catch it. Listen, Meowth is a cat. We like cats here. Yeah. I didn't say Meowth, I wasn't talking about Meowth, I was talking about Squaddle. This is how yeah, Meowth is a cat. Currently. I do feel like you're kind of obligated to go for it if you see it, since it's so rare that it shows up in an any percent speedrun. Well, I guess it depends. If it spawns too far to the left, then maybe not. Yeah. Because then you have to go so. around and catch it, and also, like, you have to wait, like, what, six levels before it evolves, depending on what level it gets? Yeah, there's definitely nobody on this commentary team that has seen a squirrel spawn at the very left-hand side of Route 25 <laughs> and skipped it and made everybody in chat mad. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, I'll say that I have seen a squirrel, and I have caught yeah. it, and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing it ever again. I saw two squaddles spawn back to back. Uh, my first two races after last year's, or my first two runs after last year's tournament. But uh, not before or since. Also, it looks like none of our runners are gonna get the sad squaddle on the way back that you can't catch because you can't get through the through the bush again. Yeah, just a better night for Azarian. So, no squaddles today. No fricks today. So I guess there's only one more starter that we could potentially see. That's gonna have to wait another like 20 minutes, but uh, there is still an, an opportunity for our, the red Charmander to show up later. Yeah. After, now we're gonna be watching uh, another, yeah, this another cutscene of what we like to call the Detective Pikachu slash Eevee moment. Starring Let's Ryan go Reynolds. commentary. Let's go commentators have one set of jokes. Yeah, it's we have true, one set like... of jokes, and we're going to repeat the same set of jokes again and again and again until we run out. Like, uh, surely there's no one after lands, right? Never. Game's just over then. Oh, nice Abra. <laughs> nice Abra and Growlithe. So, unfortunately, <laughs> Aspect has probably burnt his luck on finding a Growlithe and Aspect early, so... Don't say that. Aspect's already been cursed enough. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, the runners are approaching not six years after this, uh... Cutscene when the rival gets a little bit uncomfortably too close to the PC. Yeah. Um, For Route 6, uh, both Eevee and Pikachu have different requirements. Eevee just requires to at least be level 18 before going to the million. Whereas Pikachu does require a uh, Growl. Doesn't really require a specific level to be for the next fight, but does require a Growlithe to spawn to make at least the next few fights uh, a little bit more reasonable to deal with. But yeah. also Growlithe does have a much more important role later on, so we would like to see the Papa spawn. Absolutely. Uh, alternatively, you can also go with an Abra uh, that would become your partner Pokemon for this next section of the run, but Abra is rarer and also cannot play the same part that Growlithe plays later on that Chris just mentioned. And also, Abra does need to evolve before you actually even enter the the, the boat. So, right. So if you grab an Abra, you want to grab it first. That way, you get the rest of the catch experience on Route Six that you can. Yeah. 
So we'll see um, what happens here. There's also going to be a rare candy that, pe that runners may choose to pick up. Uh, it is not a required rare candy. Oh, oh instant So it's not a requirement to pick up the uh, rare candy uh, here. Although it is, you do need to pick up at least, I believe, at a minimum four rare candy or to five. You need to pick up. You're going to be using four on Starmie and maybe one on Rapid. Actually, you need at least five to be safe. And yeah, this is for, like one of the candies. For Eevee, like 99% of the time, you'll pick up the rare candy because you are forced to make the early transition from Rhyhorn to Rapidash, huh? essentially. So you want to get that. Also. You yeah. want to get that ride speed as fast as possible. Well, That's excellent that... for Albi on the Jigglypuff before it floats away. Yeah. Since Aspect already made half of the way that way, you can pick, consider picking up the Red Candy now. And all he needs now, ideally you want this Growlithe to get a little bit more experience. So you might, he, yeah, yeah he's going to consider getting the Pidgey here. This doesn't mean that Pidgeot is uh, no longer an option for Aspect later on, but that the likelihood of you getting a uh, Pidgey to spawn in Cyclone Road is not really the most successful. And But the other problem yeah. one you get uh, Eevee gets Vulpix, uh, does not, the Growlithe is not a version, is a version exclusive for Pikachu, whereas Vulpix is a version exclusive for Eevee. Uh, for some reason, Arcanine is not a version exclusive for Eevee, but, uh, when Eevee's never gonna get that. Don't worry about it. Uh, other Pokemon, other Pokemon here you wanna catch, you can consider getting Pidgey, just like how Aspect did. Uh, Jigglypuff is also another good catch, especially if you have double Moonstone in Pikachu, or if you just have a Moonstone being Eevee. This is like the best Moonstone evolution as it does not learn any move when it evolves. And Psyduck is technically an option that you can catch here. Sorry, uh, no, it good. does unlock you out of Golduck, but it is an option and Rat is also an option here too. I'll be also choosing to catch a Pidgey on Route 6. I find runners' philosophies on when to catch the the Pidgey line is very interesting. Some people opt to go as early as Route Two for the extra experience. Some people opt for a Route Six Pidgey to possibly evolve into Pidgeotto, and then some people opt to either just like catch a Pidgey and then a Pidgeotto, and then some people save it for for Cycling Road. The Pidgey line is just very flexible overall because it's like basically the only three. Like basic stage one, stage two evolution. We're using TCG terms uh, that you can catch, so you can basically flex into it in either like two catch or a three catch thing, depending on how early or how late you choose to catch it. Just want to say very really quickly, all three of our runners successfully able to pass uh, through the Vermilion trainer. Through the Vermilion trainers, no problem. Which we just had that was being the hardest of the legal trainer skips in this run so why do you think i said nothing until that happened <laughs> i mean they do all have to do it one more time on the way back up so. okay but the way back up there's literally a line that you can line up yourself and just yes. walk up yes but if you don't have a notch on your controller uh, you might still get some drift there so it's it's not a gimme on the yeah, way back up. you still gotta focus thing. a little bit for it's it. not a gimme but it's like it's way it's more freer than the way down at least, in my, at least, many people would debate otherwise, but in my opinion, way up is far yeah. easier than way down. I, I do think it's subjective. Uh, anyway, I, I just want to point out that Aspect going for that Pidgey and the Jigglypuff should probably hit level 18 on the Growlithe uh, from the rival fight that's coming up on the boat, which is exactly what you want to see, um, because the level 17 Growlithe will struggle in the upcoming fights. So that's probably why uh, uh, you went for the Pidgey. Yeah, it also is a glowing Pidgey, so it's like it, it's not like the worst choice to go for a glowing Pidgey now. No, not at all. I think it's like going over the, like the Pidgey dilemma. I think it's definitely a very interesting like thought pro thought process. I think most people would prefer if they get the Pidgey in Cycling Road, but I think some people will consider the Pidgey early in Route Six, especially if you're running Pika, just so that Growlithe can be. High enough. It's your bet. You want Growlithe to be at level uh, 18 by. Is it eight? Yeah, it's 18 by a specific by a specific fight. So I think, especially if you're running Pika, you might want to consider early Pidgey just so that Growlithe gets the experience. But yeah. speaking of the fight, uh, rival three 
yes, three, better known as Boat Rival, has it's very similar between the two versions. Uh, for Eevee, oh, oh no, oh no, Isarian bought X special defense instead of X special attack. That might be a uh... that's a huge problem, yeah. And Eevee got uh, sent. Oh no, he's gonna have to fish for for items in the underground on the way back and then buy something. I don't know, in Celadon? That's so late, though. Uh, we're gonna have to fig well, he's gonna have to figure out a way to fix that problem. Yeah. Uh, there might be a way to fix the problem? So, the way that I think about it is sell your X Special Defense and buy whatever X Special attacks you can, grab Underground, like Spider said, possibly go through Cer Cerulean Shop, and then repurchase items over and then cut the bush to head back oh, yeah. over to Rock Tunnel. The other option is depending on how many X special attacks you need to get through Rock Tunnel, sell in Vermilion and pick up a few X special attacks. And then in Tower, you can progress a little bit and there's some hidden items that you can get in, in Tower if you're familiar with uh, like the beginner all obtainable Pokemon route. There's like an Ice Stone, there's like a Nugget behind one trainer. Uh, but Yozarian might not have that uh, information yeah, due to being more of a new runner. I mean, I don't know half of the information that you just said. I don't even know half of the items that existed. So I don't run the other category, so... There's probably like a few ways to back this up. Like, definitely go back, sell your X uh, special defenses, and buy a bunch of X specials. Yeah. And then just... That's just rough. With some of the fights, just adapt without X specials somehow. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, but we'll, 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 we'll figure something out. That definitely means that Albi and Yusarian are now neck and neck here, literally finishing the rival fight within seconds of each other. Yeah, Aspect is a bit ahead, but is one uh, catch uh, uh, lower than the other two of the runners. Uh, but now we're going to uh, the most important catching section in the entire game. Or well, as I like to call it, the second coming of crazy. Because well, this... I mean... Because this is where most runs come to die. That is true, but it's still a little bit away. We, we still have to get across Route 9 to get to Route 10 and Rock Tunnel. Probably the I mean, most pivotal. The two pivotal. aren't that bad, especially if like of a level 18 Growlithe. It's like... Not the end. It's not. Well, I guess the Eevee could actually be a bit of a problem for Aspect because you are minus attack, so. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's not like. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. So, I have a question. If Route 10 Chansey appears for Aspect, do you think he's going to go for it? I don't know. I, th I think I would probably hope to get like a Redicate, maybe. That's much. A much safer catch that also has a high experience yield. Chansey on our 10 is so... Okay, oh, we just the Aspect question. Does, yes, so he is going okay. for it because he does see one, so... <laughs> yeah, probably okay. we'll have to party manage a little bit to make sure that nothing gets any super experience on it. That doesn't mean to, but... Routes and Chansey is like arguably the last like useful Chansey that there is. Yeah. Um, you said oh. just bought uh, the X special attacks, so sold the X special defenses, and is now also on his way. Just wanted to point that out real quick. Also, every one of our runners got passed. Ooh. Oh no! Ooh. Ooh, distracted by the Abra. Oh no! Hello, Sailor. Things are just. This face? Oh, things are just getting worse and worse for you, Sailor. Here. I've, I've, this is fine. You have Buzzy Buzz. Just kill the tentacle. Add yeah. more money for later, for, you know. <laughs> Honestly, let's uh, let's note what money Yozarian has, like, going into the, what is it, the Madame Celadon thing. Oh, yeah, you still need the 10,000 in order to get there. It would be yeah. really interesting if this was the, uh, the 960 that you get here pushes him over. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> breath! <laughs> The Constellation Prizes that you get too if you miss one. <laughs> yep. That's gonna be a nice extra Pokemon that Yuzarin's gonna have. What is this? 
Uh, it's called Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, True. Yeah. It's a ride. It's an interesting ride that always ends in either successful summon disappointment in others. I'll be interestingly oh. depositing Pidgey here on the menu, not opting to evolve into Pidgeotto. Probably going to keep the the Pidgeotto into Pidgeot option open for later. Yeah, you can catch I like that it. Pidgeotto on Route 17 or Route 21 and still evolve that into Pidgeot. Yeah, normally, Pikachu. You know, Pikachu doesn't. So, this is another difference between Pikachu. Apparently... Eevee does the menu for luring and depositing before the first trainer fight. So that you know you can do to Eevee's you know, full HP and all that stuff. Whereas for uh whereas Pikachu does it later, so that because so that you wanna keep Growlithe in the party for these upcoming fights, but you don't actually want Growlithe to get any more experience after after this after this moment because we might we will potentially use it for fun death strats later. The aspect being level 21 on Pika, level, growl uh, level Growlithe on 18. Uh, just pretend that that was how I was supposed to say it. Uh, clears the Raticate very easily. Yeah. yeah. Ideally, you would prefer Growlithe to be hit with the Super Fang and not Pikachu, so that you can take damage, but especially if you uh, don't get a right horn, it makes the Arcanine like more likely to uh, get KO'd. But here we can see the nice thing the nice thing of having double moonstone is the fact that Aspect can now evolve the Jigglypuff into uh, Wigglytuff. It's the best moonstone evo, but Pikachu does require uh, one of the Nidos as it, 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 it struggles to do anything by itself. Yeah, that's basically what Route 10 is going to be about here. Uh, Pikachu really needs those Nidos to spawn. Uh, Eevee can live without them, though obviously the more spawns the better. So let's see yeah. what the runners will get. Aspect is going to be the first one to hit the route here. Yeah, the five Pokemon you really want to see is the two Nidos, Spearow, uh, Raticate, and if you're lucky, Krabby. The least. We got Fearow. We got a Rat. rat. We got Look, two Fearow. Not great to start. Arguably a good catch if you're furious or J towels. <laughs> I yeah, would well. not recommend trying to catch a pharaoh unless you really need to. The Nidor and female does hit the minimum requirement of Nidos that you have to get for a Pikachu version. You prefer the Nidor and male because that gets poison jab, uh, whereas this only gets crunch. But... There is one fight where Nido, Nido Queen is better than Nido King, but uh, yeah. most of the time Nido King is better. Exactly. Uh, so. I'll be getting much better luck getting finding Nidoran female and Spearow. Yeah, it does have the option to catch the Rattata right now because she hasn't uh, caught one earlier. Possibly might hold out for a rat to, to see. This. I think he accidentally ran into it. Yeah, yeah. you're. It flew into him actually. Well, I guess that free step response that is more than it may. So yeah, only up to four Pokemon can spawn in this grass at a time. Uh, usually you'll see runners wait around for the first four things to spawn because they're not on a catch chain yet. Catch chain is a very specific mechanic in this game where as soon as you catch a Pokemon and that Pokemon can spawn in the region that you're in, that's going to be slightly more likely to show up over the others. Uh, so you don't want to catch anything on Route 10 because that would skew the spawns in favor of something you have already caught, which would be... Not optimal. Iran may have been a bit of a painful aspect, but now he has a choice of whether he goes for Nido Queen or Nido King strats. Yeah. That's also really rude. Double great uh, no circle for Niran Mail is just an 85% to get in. Super rude. Let's get the Krabby spawn, which is a nice bonus. And I just want to let you uh, know that one person did actually roll slots and got three red chars in a row on slots. So do you think we're going to be seeing three red chars in this upcoming game? 100%. It has to mean that, no yeah. doubt about it. Congratulations, Phoenix Melior. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. 
hit that spinner. That spinner is not a fantastic spinner to hit, if I recall. Yeah, the lower one is definitely really bad for our Pika because I think she has two bad sprouts. I don't know what the what the black belt has. The Picnicker has a Goldeen, possibly. Oh, Goldeen, yeah, true. I always wait for that Picnicker. Happier. Yeah, Picnicker's really bad. Anything else? Oh, kid. These are pretty good spawns for at least at least for us, but he is like what? He has four. He doesn't have the Raticate yet. So that's like the only thing that's like missing that he would really want before leaving. But even then, the like Gang Sparrow, Krabby, and the two Nidos are pretty good. That's is Saren actually going for Raticate now? Uh, I will say that with uh, Pika unlocking Thunderbolt at level 21, uh, you can just kind of pivot to using Thunderbolt more from this level onward, so minus attack is not quite as bad from this point. Uh, but Aspect would probably still prefer getting that bonus experience from Eradicate. Yeah, unfortunate breakout for the racket for Yozarian. Notably, Yozarian was still on Great Premier Ball when he was catching the Raticate. Okay. So the the odds of catching are slightly lower than if it was Double Great. But now Yozarian should be on uh, Double Great Balls. Yeah, Big Rat you can get anywhere. I got my final big rat in mansion, so not the end of the world if you don't get big rat here. One more fear in aspects way. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to dodge that. I'm doing some deposits. Is choosing to do this next fight 1 p.m.? I'm pretty sure you normally do this fight 2 p.m. Pika, but I guess there is mm -hmm. technically a fish rat that you can go for. You uh, uh... generally can do this 1 p as long as you're like level. 23 and above. I think 22 you start headbutt double kicking. This is something that only developed uh, over the course of last year's tournament, where this 1C strat solidified itself as the superior option for the fight for Pika version. Well, now I know. Yeah, just overall on average, I believe it's just faster in those cases. So you do risk like cat eating counting, a little bit of damage, but... Feeling confident leaving Rock Tunnel. Like, what's like the number that you would like to be when leaving Rock Tunnel? Definitely 30 baseline, for sure. Yeah. Comfortable, probably at least 32 minimum. Yeah, I'm what's pretty like sure. The absolute minimum you want to be. I've, 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 I'm pretty sure I've left Rock Tunnel at 28 before and, and was fine, but that's pretty low. I've definitely left Rock Tunnel with 28 before and that led into a Venomoth, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's oh, yeah. risky territory, so that 30 baseline, you want to hit that. Uh, let's hope that our runners all get lucky in Rock Tunnel, they've been punished so hard already. Alright, Rock Tunnel, there's a couple things you want to see here. Zubat, Grobat, Rhyhorn is also it's definitely there. something you want to see as soon as possible. It's like, Aspect, catch me! Catch me! And he is going for no Raz, so there is a chance that this will break out, but... Don't say it! <laughs> eh, it'll get in. I think double grade is just like 80, 80 percent. Oh, yeah. Something is 91, I don't know what it is. But yeah, instant ride. And the fact that he doesn't ha even have the party manager, you can just go into the Pokemon and just press the plus button and you can just like roll in around. Yeah, not very very good now. timing too, because Rhyhorn gets the Nidoran male to evolve into Nidorino. And because Pikachu will use either Nido King or Nido Queen for hideout most of the time, you can just double into the, the item bag to Moonstone it immediately. So very, very good time on Rhyhorn. It now because you want to go to the Pokemon menu, not necessarily the bag yet, but you can't begin. It's not like you need to do one or the other. Yeah, I mean, might as well at this point. You could hold off on it, considering you're probably gonna uh, deposit at a later point anyway, where you would probably go through. Okay, I guess you he's want going to for the heal here, so that works out. Uh, hadn't swapped the supers into that one anyway. 
So it's just now gonna moonstone in the middle to get that Nether King. I'll be getting Pokemon you wanna see. Rhyhorn is definitely one something you wanna see. Uh, Gravel is another Pokemon you want to see because of its evolution, because of its uh, more experience. Uh, Machop, as we see on Albi's screen, is something we also wanna see. It does take four levels to evolve, but it is a pretty good Pokemon to see. Uh, it's the only time you get Machop, so it's either now or never. Um, Cubone is another Pokemon that you can go for. It is technically more optimal than Tower, but let's face it, who's actually seen a Tower Cubone when they actually need it? Uh, there was actually um. a useful Tower Cubone for Diego in yesterday's uh, earlier race. But it's very rare to see useful Tower Cubone. <laughs> the answer was supposed to be no one, guys. Come on, get get read the program. <laughs> but, uh... I love Subversion. Uh, Zubat is definitely another Pokemon you you like to see here. Evolves in one level, and uh, yeah, and one other. Th and uh, if you somehow manage to find it, a uh, Retcha is absolutely something that you could go for. Also evolves in one level, so it would be nice to see that too. Uh, Pokemon you don't want to catch in here. Uh, people will have uh, different experiences when it comes to getting an Onix. Some people say it's a good idea, some people say it's a terrible idea. I don't know anyone who would say it's a good idea to go for Onyx. Uh, you're talking to one person. Oh, okay. Uh, it's never failed me. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on being very lucky then. Yeah. And then, um... The other Pokemon that you probably don't want to catch, but you could give it a shot, is Kangaskhan, if it does spawn. Shout out to all of our AOP enjoyers. <laughs> AOP runners and shambles. Okay, so... Let's see, Aspect going for Zubat. Zubatarian also just catching Zubat. This is what I was talking about earlier. If you catch Zubat here, it's a level up of evolving, which is nice. Uh... The only annoying thing about Zubat is because of its all of its like wing flap animation, it is a bit hard to catch. Well, there's one one more annoying thing about Zubat, which is that it both learns a move upon leveling up to the next level and then tries to learn another move when evolving into Gobat. So it's, I think it's the only Pokemon that does that, trying to learn two moves basically on evolution. Yeah, but it's still uh, two Pokemon in one go, so it's definitely still. It's it's still nice. One. It's still worth it to go for. Uh, oh, that's a rough breakout for Albi. You don't want to see the Graveler breakout since there's a, an experience modifier for uh, hitting or getting the catch in the first throw. Getting the breakout here will mean. Yeah, this should this should experience. get in. It looks like the Graveler was about to run away too with its uh, attack animation happening within the circle. I did not know that was the mark of it being run away. Thank you for letting me know that, that, that now. Yeah, if you if you ever see a Pokemon do an animation, but the circle is still active, it means that it is like one cycle away from running. So you better throw or or bust, essentially. That's actually especially important uh, if you use that catch chain mechanic in AOP. Not relevant really for for the any percent category, but. Uh... Definitely a nice thing to know. I do also want to give. Sorry, I'm also getting gravelers, so good experience for for their parties as well. And just want to say that even though Aspect has found his right on his right horn, ah, uh, other runners have not found it yet. And for Eevee, it is the more important to have right horn in your party than uh, Pikachu does. Pikachu at least has the uh, Arcanine backup, but. Eevee, if you don't get Raihorn, you're gonna have to, uh, do a long walk. And that's kinda yeah. slow. So, really hoping for both of our Eevee runners that they do eventually find Raihorn soon. And also, I believe that kind of changes a lot of strats in Chida if you don't have Raihorn either. So, fingers crossed that they find their Raihorn. I think other options yeah, think you, include... Yeah. Go ahead, Trev, you you have more EV knowledge than the both of us combined. Honestly, not really. I haven't run this in, in over <laughs> here, but uh, you, you can go for the Graveler as a partner for like the rival fight, I, I believe, instead of the Rhyhorn. But I honestly don't remember what you do for uh, the hideout fights. Well... 
I guess Albi can kind of go with some sort of Neo strength. She does have uh, Neo Queen if Raihorn doesn't spawn, but for Zara and I have no idea. Respectfully. Someone's gonna have to let us know. Well, we're is, just uh... gonna we're just gonna say that they're gonna get Rhyhorns and everything's gonna be fine. Everybody's gonna fun. ride out a rock tunnel. We still got like three more rooms to go. Aspect, you don't need like five Rhyhorns to spawn on your screen. Share some of your share some of your fellow race mates. Come on. <laughs> You're not even on a catch chain on Rhyhorn, so that's just the like Yeah, that's rude. <laughs> Maybe LB will get one on this next. Yeah, the main reason why. Uh, yeah, that's one. Oh no, that's, no, that's a trainer. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is a trainer there. Unfortunately, I actually don't know what this trainer has. Well, we're about to find out together. I guess I also don't know what this trainer has. Still in one Pokemon. How bad could it be? Oh, bouncy, uh, bouncy bubble. Oh, done. This is fine. <laughs> so thankfully, not too punishing. One bouncy bubble or two should take the Squirrela out. Yeah, and you get a heal, so you know it's fine. As like, yeah, it's like, oh, I'm Rhyhorn Brain. I'm gonna go to Rhyhorn. Let's get the Rhyhorn. Oh. To be fair, yeah. I would also like to do the same thing if I was like, it's like, oh, a piece of candy. <laughs> but that is well, a Rhyhorn. Is Aspect done with catches, I think? Let me just check it. Track Looks like they don't have Cubone yet, which would be yeah, the only just, thing that they need. Cubone. And probably oh, is healthy enough to skip Charmander at this point, even with the Ultra Balls that you get from Ace Trainer Sophia here. Was Headstrong in chat uh, confirming that you just use Graveler for every fight that you would usually usually use Raihorn for? Yeah, if you don't get Raihorn in Eevee. I think that's wrong. Yeah. So. Abby having her right horn is great. Some menuing for Yazarian, you know, making sure that the party's empty. Yeah, leaving some room for that right horn to get in the party right now. What? That looks suspiciously large and pointy. I'm not sure what was yeah. on Yazarian's left hand side of the screen there, but oh, that's a cube bone. bone. Oh, no, that was a Kangaskhan for aspect. <laughs> What's happening um, here? Oh, that's right. Oh, alright. So, good that Aspect has Ultra Balls from Sophia. Gonna probably switch to those immediately. And yeah. pick up a nice bonus catch. Finally, the summon has come in. I was afraid it wasn't gonna happen. After that, uh, slot swim from Phoenix. Alright, stays in. Very nice. Yeah. So, Charmander is just a bonus cat, does evolve in one level, which is really nice, but aside from that, not really much. Doesn't seem to have room in the party right now. Uh, nah, but you can always just like menu it. Speaking later. of rare char, another uh, rare char! Yazarin is going to have to walk way around for that, and it almost looks like that Charmander is walking left. Yeah, it might just pass the trainer on the other side before uh, Yazarin can get there. Uh, Oh, he's not even gonna yeah. try. Okay. Yeah. He has because a great honest. catch. Rock, right? Rock Snake says no. You shall not pass. Now I just need to see the third one. Yeah. He has some 35 catches, so I can totally understand that meaning to go for the chairman that they are, uh, especially if it's so far away. Yeah, all of the starters have a very, like, interesting catch cycle where it'll attack but it can also attack immediately on the next cycle as opposed to a lot of other pokemon that will wait another cycle to attack so it can be kind of tricky to get wait. those throws as an excellent oh. on the starters so apparently something was arranged i was on after something and i didn't quite see what it was that's definitely a minus attack moment for a zippy zap on the vulpix it is slightly bulky defensively and not having any attack on your peak should just not help either. Oh, Meowth. So the Meowth was a range with Zippy Zap with your minus attack. That is cursed information. So 118 exit for aspect here. On with 32 catches. catches, that's pretty good. Uh, if we are. Uh, only missing Cubone from uh, Mount, uh, from Rock Tunnel, so 
if Cubone does decide to grace its presence in Tower. Uh, that's another catch for Aspect. Yeah. Now we're seeing a lot of rocks next. Just in general now. Second Rhyhorn for Albi. We still have yet to see one for you, Zarian, correct? Yeah, we haven't seen yeah. one yet. Wait, we're talking about Ratchas or...? Uh, uh, so Albin hasn't seen a Ratcha, but yeah. uh, Yozarian hasn't seen a Rhyhorn, which is by far the more important thing. For sure. One more flow to go here. One more flow to go here for Yozarian yeah, to get one of those. We've more rock snakes than uh, actual uh, Rhyhorns. It's a rock ball. Mm, that's not... No! Oh, no! Oh, yeah, okay. that's go back. Right there. Go back scaring Yozarian into the... The line of sight into the other uh, trainer. This one, I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, but fine. Yeah, Evie can like deal with that. Two this. headbats. Give or take. And with this being slightly pain, Pikachu, I did hit this spinner once. Yeah, this thing is not ground type. Yeah. Not yet. Probably. Okay. Going for the burn kill here. Could have probably just had it to. Yeah, burn damage. Would be fine. Yeah, also, I didn't realize that double kick, so that could have been mad, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, speaking of uh, fine fights, uh, rival three. No, four. Four. We can this count. Is... Pokemon yeah, we can speedrunners count. cannot count. You know uh, this. I, have it on my... I don't have to count, I just put on my splits and it just tells me this is rival four. Um, yeah. Pikachu, it's a pretty fine fight. There are two stiff and strats. Um, but with Nido King, you just. Uh, you Thunderbolt with a Pikachu, you set up two X attacks on the Nido King, and then Nido King poison jabs or thrashes everything. Uh, depending on if you caught a Nido Reno or not. Or if you caught it as a Nido Ran male or Nido Reno. Because if you caught it as a Nido Reno, it does not have poison jab, and you have to thrash it instead. Dynamo is no rival 10 in this game. Don't there is a that. Hop 10 in Sword and Shield. I'll tell you that. Not any percent, but there is a hop 10. Oh, hop. Aren't we so glad that there aren't any, like, insert cutscenes for critical hits and super effective moves in this game? I mean, you can thank the, you can thank that this is a minus, this is a Gen 7 game and not a Gen 8 game. Oh gosh, Yozarian unfortunately not getting a Rhyhorn and is just walking over to, to Lavender yeah. Tower. Yeah, right, yeah, Rival Ten is more of a Gen Five or Gen Six thing. Even Scarlet and Violet only has six six Nimona fights. In, in fairness, you lose four of them anyway. And also, there are other rivals in that game, right? You do also fight Arvin and Penny as your rivals. Okay, if you add them, that goes up to uh, nine. Also, yeah. if we're getting really like nitty gritty with the details, technically we should like add one to all of our rival counts because you can fight rival before you enter Viridian Forest if you head That's towards the Pokemon add, League. Not fight, my friend. We do not have to count that. Uh, it's still a fight. It's still it, in the game. It's still a fight. It's still in the game, but we don't have to fight it, so it's not. A, so it's not a fight that we have to care about. Speaking of not caring about things, we don't have to care about Metronome Uncle Fairy and Pika because. Nido King is just gonna one-shot us with Poison Jab. I was about to say the very same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, in this game, you either fight the rival five, five, or technically six times, depending on if you, how you count the... definitely f no fight after Lance moment. So, how we just finish the, uh... Is the uh, rival four fight? Uh, is Aaron just doing the rival four fight? Has to go with like gravel strats instead of Rhyhorn strats, which is a shame, and also has to now walk everywhere he goes, which will lose time. But that's what happens when Rhyhorn doesn't spawn. Yeah. The hair aspect doing something that Pikachu only does, which is grabbing the Firestone here. Eevee just kind of walks around. Uh, you want to be careful. Oh, that was an interesting spin to pass. You're you always just... safe at the very bottom. Yeah, exactly. Wait, really? You can just hack the wall there. Yeah. 
I'm learning new things every single day about Pikachu. <laughs> That's what we're here for. I didn't realize you could just hug the wall. I should be doing that. I, I was just waiting. I don't think you can do the same along the north side of the fence, but the south side is completely fine. All right, it comes uh, metronome time. All right, so what are we thinking? I just want to see a headbutt flinch, honestly. I don't mm -hmm. want any shenanigans. I want to see Splash. For, for the runner's sake. Yeah, it's better for us to be fine. All right, so first metronome of the day. What are we going to see? Hi, Hi Beam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, for Beam. This is so funny to me. <laughs> Perfection. Oh. The split oh, I... second of panic in all of our <laughs> in all of our hearts. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a shame because you gotta get double. Like, if you got double, it's one fight, one fight before she would be able to just knock the cliff area out, no problem. I think Zarin all... actually has double edge, so it's all good. It's it's for content. Oh, aspect by the way, catching eradicate here to avoid that level twenty-eight for Geo. I am. <laughs> and then for Aspect, you're gonna need as much experience as you can get. Minus attack on Geo is, uh... uh it's so bad. Is an experience. You, you really need to hit level 30 to, to have any shot at that fight, so... Fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> but that's the only thing that you can catch here, really, so... Yeah. Okay, good. I am noticing on Yuzarin's screen as he is escape roping that he does, in fact, have enough money for Sinking Modest at okay. 11k uh, Poké Dollars. So the the selling of the X Special Defense and rebuying Special Attacks has not hurt him yeah. uh, too much. For those who are wondering why it matters, uh, Madam Celadon, best name in the game, by the way, uh, <laughs> has has a thing where if you pay an app if you pay her ten thousand poker dollars she can make all the natures of pokemon that you're gonna catch later uh become modest uh, this is also the place where eevee also gets a new move in glitzy glow uh mainly psychic type move that summoned the light screen upon uh using it which is you know always useful but the main thing is that we wanted to we have it blue and we can pick red so that we will always guarantee modest as that is the actual the color of the actual mint of a modest mint. Like it's actually like you do pick the blue mint blue is actually uh plus special attack mints and red is actually plus attack mints, so funny that they actually make it that the mint colors are actually the colors here are actually accurate to the mints later. It's also the the color of the indicators in the menu for lowering and, and raising the stat from the nature. So like the thing that you select with blue there is the thing that the, the, the stat that gets lowered. Yeah. I sad. remember that it's like in Japan it's like a, it's a color thing where red is normally symbolized as a good thing and blue is kind of like symbolized as not so good thing. I mm. think. That might be the reason as to why red and blue are picked in that way, because normally we associate red being bad. Like, anyone who sees red on a timer is like, nope, that's bad. <laughs> Unless you're in Let's Go, in which case it might be good. There's a lot of, uh, like in a lot of Asian cultures, red is associated with fortune or good luck. Yeah. Speaking oh, nice of good luck, look at that Nine Tails. <laughs> nice 1% spawn. Time to pivot to 60. Nine oh, Pikachu died for Aspect, that's unfortunate. Uh, that's gonna miss out on EXP, and this Pikachu really needs better EXP. Uh, you can just Poison Jab Revive, right? Yeah, uh, I don't know what, that, yeah. what, yeah, Pika, what Pika's health was at going into the fight. Usually, if you're, like, you're safe right around, like, oh, 26 correct. Like, correct. HP. Ah, uh, I see. We love critical hits in this game. Yay! Also, I just want to point out, unrelated, what, what an awesome name Madame Celadon is. I, I know you pointed out earlier, but imagine just being named after the town that you're in. Like, what I don't know. The, what if the town was named after Madame Celadon? That would be even better. <laughs> Have you ever thought How about old that is she, before? Though? <laughs> don't worry about it. 
Now I move on to everyone's favorite section of the game, Rocket Hideout. We all have Rocket Hideout. Said no one ever. Mm. Giovanni uh, probably likes it. A lot of different, like, fight strategies that we're seeing here. Okay. Uh, Pikachu definitely relying a lot on the Nidos because uh, it can't really do much, whereas Eevee can actually, you know, deal with most of the fights by themselves. Nice poison on the Volto. Nice status lag on the Volto. So... Oh yeah, remember to actually hit the poster uh, when you go into Rocket Hideout. I actually have forgotten. Like, a lot of the times I fight the rival, I then to go to Jesse and James, realize the door isn't open, so I had to walk, take the Walk of Shame back to the poster. That's better than forgetting some other things. Thinking about forgetting to go up to the first, the next floor in a Pokemon Tower to trigger the cutscene, and then going all the way to Hideout just to realize that you can't do anything there. Yeah. I always find, like, this Rocket Current, the Aspects Modify, I always find this Rocket Current to be slightly interesting. Because there's so many people who do different strategies for this. Some people do Nido King plus Rhyhorn, like Aspects doing. Some people do Nido King plus Pikachu. Sometimes people just do solo Pikachu. It's always interesting to see what yeah, Pikachu. It, it's really dependent, at least on the Pika side, what nature your Pikachu is. If you're minus special attack, uh, you're generally doing this with Rhyhorn. And also just depending on, like, your menuing and where you're where you're doing your party switching. Yeah, yeah. I think to get Pika set, hit level twenty eight to uh, kill with Thunderbolt there or something. So uh, that's another one of those situations where you decide based on your experience, your your stats, and all of that uh, what you do with the fight. Also, I just want to point out again, it's so amazing that Abby and Aspect are on the same cutscene 19 minutes into the run. This is such a close race all no, the way through. Yeah, only yeah. one poke separating the two. Yeah. Although, Aspect is gonna have some troubles coming very coming very soon. With yeah. this, uh... we'll, we'll see how that pans out for them. Hey look, here, there's one more fight where minus attack matters, and then after that it doesn't matter anymore because you're gonna be using Thunderbolt. Actually, wait, there's technically two more fights you use Zippies at, but I don't think they matter if you're minus attack or not. I, at least I don't think. Also consider, I know the the time old joke of standing on a rolling chair, OSHA violations, whatnot. Have we ever considered the fact that there exist rolling chairs that have locking mechanisms for their wheels and their turning, like, left to right? Have we just, like, not, like, thought about that? Can we just assume that this rolling chair can lock in both ways and everything's I know, fine? I, mean, I know that that's a bit, but like you can't put that in a game for kids and just imply or hope that they that that's the conclusion that the kids come to when seeing this. This is still a public service announcement that you should absolutely not be standing on a rolling chair, even if it does have a lock, because uh, all it takes is that lock to not function, and all of a sudden you are falling off that rolling chair. Exactly. Now that we talked about that at length, you can cross it off your bin bingo card uh, of the commentary bullet bingo here. Yep. Cheap would recommend you get off that rolling chair. Or don't. It's your life. Live it. It is his life, but I do value human lives. Gonna heal the Nino King to full, also gonna heal the Pikachu to full as well, before going to Jesse and James 2. Uh, not the most hated Jesse and James, so I'm pretty sure everyone, no one likes Jesse and James 3, but this one is still just as bad as Jesse and James 3. Uh, with Rhyhorn you have, if at least if you have Pika Rhyhorn and Pikachu, you can go for Rhyhorn Strike, which all you have to do is just X attack and drill run, surely. Nothing will go wrong here. Especially the fact that this right one is 26. Ooh, it's going... Okay, that was definitely a misinput. We love misinputs in this game. And then go ahead and move the next attack, and hopefully this arm will go down. I was going for to see those strats. It <laughs> lived on one! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so annoying. Rhyhorn's level 26. What is this Rhyhorn doing? That minus attack probably. It's that's probably also to make Rhyhorn at this rate. Also timid, yeah. You sure it's timid and not modest or something? Yeah, uh, this- how does this fight go in Eevee again? I just completely glossed over it. Like, uh, I did- did Alvi just expert. crit the Weezing? Might have. That's like the third yeah. useful crit that Alvi has gotten. She's on a roll with these. Yep. The absolute sniper. Uh, good for her, she's taken over Aspect here. Uh, at least in terms of progress. Oh no, she crit the Arbok. Ah, gotcha. So yeah, Eevee version is also a little bit dependent on your situation, on your Eevee stats and, and so on, and the Pokemon you have. Uh, what Abby chose to go for was the Glitzy Girl strategy, where you use X special attacks on the Eevee and then use Glitzy Girl, which is another special move that Eevee runners pick up in Celadon City Pokemon Center that is a 90 power special psychic type move that sets up a light screen. They're very good for this section of the run because it's super effective against all of these poison types. Uh, alternatively, if your EV has really bad special attack, you can also use basically the same Rhyhorn strat that Pika uses, where you use X attacks on Rhyhorn, and then drill run the enemy. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's going for this strat. So there's an interesting strat that you can try and do with Pikachu, where you go headbutt plus Thunderbolt, and hope you get a flinch on the Weezing, and then hopefully with Thunderbolt plus helping hand, you can uh, take this knockout. Uh, with minus attack and minus special, it can be a bit iffy. Normally, you'd never go for that strat with minus special, but with minus attack, it, if Headbutt doesn't do enough damage, it can be a bit scary, but thankfully that's not that bad of a fight. This Pikachu is not gonna hit level 30 before Raihorn? No, it's not. So we have plus attack. Uh, I, no, it's not. It, it, I don't think Persian gives enough experience, sadly. No. It's fine. Rhyhorn's just going to drill run the Nidoking King instead of the Pika, and everything will be fine. Surely. Or I mean, I'm even just going to quit on double kick. That also Yeah, uh, even if Rhyhorn survives there, you can probably finish it off after if the Pika goes down. Obviously, Pika's not going to get that experience then, but... This is where I will say good. that Eevee has a much better time in this fight, because Eevee can just, you know... Uh, says the, the Persian is a bit well, of a scary threat, but yeah. uh, the Rhyhorn is just like bouncy bubble free heal, thank you. It's just I, I to would pick say, your poison. I, I would say that any regular, not like neutral or plus attack Pikachu will have a much easier time with this fight than Eevee because uh, you don't have to solo set up against this Persian that keeps using Slash on you and potentially crits you every time. Um, but with the minus attack, that, that's what makes it scary and fast. Alright, let's see if this double kick knocks out this right horn. It has to be plus six and a helping hand boost, and it still has a chance of it living because of um, minus attack. So that's, uh, hopefully, even if it, like, doesn't take the knockout, like, something should be able to clear it out. It's fine, it's fine. Just it's barely enough. You know. Alright, well, Aspect is now done. Yeah. You can now go back to the tower and get the self scope. And, you know, clear out the ghost. Yeah, still very close between Aspect and Albi. Probably, like, considering Aspect is ahead by one catch, probably like 20 to 25 seconds of difference separate the two right now. Yeah. And Yazari not that far behind. Remember, uh, he did have to, you know, walk here. So the fact that he's yeah. just, you know, one fight behind, or two fights behind, I guess, everyone else is, you know, not that bad. Yeah, there's oh, still yes, a Aaron. lot of room for things to change. Yeah, yes, Iron is not out of this by any stretch. There's still yeah. so many, uh, so many fights that can tip the scales. Yeah, we have Jesse and James 3, we have the, ne the next catching segment that we're gonna do, we have... We basically have uh, the next, like, 40, 40 to 50 minutes worth of have interesting Kevin. things. We also have everyone's favorite fight, and even the Elite Four can be interesting, depending on what strats people choose to do. Exactly. 
but one thing at a time. And one thing at a time, next up is uh, the revisit of Pokemon Tower. Yeah, uh, so... Pika menus here. Actually, okay. Aspect choosing to not do the Growlithe strat. Did he forget, or is he just gonna men or is he just gonna use the flyer then menu? Nope, seems to go just straight ahead. Uh, what you can do here on Pika version is you can withdraw the Growlithe and then use that as your partner for the upcoming Jesse James 3 fight. Basically, Maybe he just sacrificing to ride a it. Bit more horn before going to switch Growlithe. Hmm. Uh, you only like menus, but. It, it would be optimal to do it there if you're gonna go for the for the Growlithe strats, uh, since you're gonna fly anyway. Uh, benefit of the Growlithe strat being that then the Growlithe is fainted and you can evolve it into Arcanine and use it as a ride without it gaining tons of levels on Route 17. Um, looks like Aspect's just not gonna go for it. Also, may I remind people that none of these uh, runners have, at least I'll be an Aspect, have not Lord, so let's see if they get any of the Pokemon that can spawn here. Uh, Albi only really needs Gathly if she wants it, but Aspect can actually get Tower Cubone and actually will be useful if Carrot Cubone does spawn. I'd be getting the Gastly right there, very nice. It's my Love opinion that luring for tower is 99% a scam. The only situation where I do lure for tower is like an aspect scenario where you do need two things. So whether that's like Ghastly Cubone or like Cubone Zubat or some like permutation of the two. Abby said in chat that she did lure, so... Oh, she did lure, okay. I don't know yeah. about that. Uh <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see the menu, I didn't see the menu, probably. Yeah, I also thought she just went straight for the for the fly, but maybe I was just looking at aspect stream at the stream at the time, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Nice 109 speed on aspect. Aspect speed at you. Comes the King the Krabby evolution for aspect. There's a tower cubo. I'll be <laughs> desperately trying to avoid the tower cubo and that's yeah. in front of her. You just don't need it at this point. Uh, I mean, Aspect will probably still take it. Fun, but oh yeah, Aspect. I mean, Aspect right now has fit for those no no has fifty four planned, including the, yeah. the U boat and the Ghastly. So if he doesn't get it, it's not the end of the world. But he does need to then catch almost everything afterwards. True. Yeah. That probably good. To Except uh... he doesn't. He doesn't. Need, he hasn't planned tentacle yet, so he doesn't need that. Probably wants to get at least one of the two things that spawn here, just for safety, but yeah, def doesn't need both. Like, if just how he one shows up, you're not gonna be sad about not getting a ghastly here. Enjoy being careful on these spinners, you don't want to hit any of them. Saren also made it to tower. Also probably looking for a Ghastly here, even with uh, 35 catch counts. Doesn't have I mean, any- Ghastly is just nice. Yeah, doesn't have I any plans. a safer way to go around that spinner. I so missed this while they were all exiting hideout. I don't think any of them got the extra ultras, correct? I don't think so, no. Uh, yeah, no, all... none of them got the extra ultras, so- Yeah, all of their all... catch counts look very healthy right now. Yeah, yeah typically it's like, if you need to go for like tentacle, I would probably consider getting everything plus tentacle. You probably want to get tell you on file. They they don't stop coming. <laughs> they always only show up when you don't need them. Yep. That's Tower Cubone for you. Aspect's just not just getting nothing here. Yeah. Oh no, he is going for growl of stress, just chooses to menu. Like, I, oh, okay. Yeah, well, I guess this works. I was waiting for Kingler to, to evolve and get it out of their party first. Yeah. That's the oh, that's the Gassy. Better late than never. Shame if this Growlithe is going to get a bit more experience, but you know what? It's uh, fine. It's it's going to die on the first hit anyway, in the fight, so yeah. it should be fine. Even if it's ever set to 19, I, I think it's I know still... that from experience, the Arcanine... Uh... 
if it evolves, if it's in an Arcanine, if it's like even low, low level, it ha it does so sometimes the Arbok and the Weaving just doesn't target it because it doesn't see the kill. But I think Growlithe should be just fine. Yeah. You shouldn't really have an evolved Arcanine at that point unless you didn't get a Rhyhorn and had to go for the early evolve to get a, a, a ride. But, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. The one situation where you have to have Ar you get Arcanine early. Yeah. In that situation, you could probably do the old strat where you get like a Clefairy out of the box and, and sacrifice that. All right. So here's Jesse and James 3, everyone's least favorite Jesse and James fight, I believe. Uh, it's the same thing as Jesse and James 2, except Arbok and Weezing a higher level, which means they're more dangerous. Yeah, which means uh, Pika version now has to use Pika for this because Rahan is just going to be too under level to pull up the same strat twice. Very That's nice power level love on that. I'll be side to break through the paralysis. Yeah, the one benefit of the friendship mechanic. Uh, well, I guess the friendship mechanic also raises your stats a little bit, but uh, the power of love to occasionally bail you out of bad uh, situations is, can be nice, can save your run. Nice paralysis for Aspect on the uh, book. And fully power as well. So now you can, actually you can probably just X special again on yeah. the Pikachu and then... That's a free turn, essentially. Well, you can I also guess... draw run the Weezing too. That works. Yeah, I guess that works too. Yeah, this conserves uh, an special attack depending on how many you still have left. And it's also like a bit faster menu noise as well. Nice poison on the way out. <laughs> it's fine anyway. Miss yeah. Pikachu does not have to do any more fighting after this. Actually, does go for another X special attack here, okay? I think yeah, that could off might work. Yeah, 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 the chip from the draw run will guarantee the plus 40 bolt. So I was nice. kind of right, just that you just did it in a different order. And now we're gonna ride a fainted Arcanine, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's all ethical. And Aspect can now finally put this Pika where it belongs in a box. Well, this specific Pika. Pika normally doesn't deserve to be in the box, just this specific one does. Unfortunately, so Para on, uh, Para on you, sorry, inside not as good as the Perez aspects and Albies. Yeah. Just want to point out for all the ravenous Pika uh, EV runners in chat, the Pika goes into the same box that the EV goes into, we also don't need EV. Yep. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Calm down, calm down everyone. Yes, yeah, so we can finally put the Eevee and Pikachu debate aside because now the, the runs are basically the same now. We're going to say goodbye to Pikachu and Eevee, unless you don't have Ghastly, in which case it, you probably want to keep Pikachu or Eevee in it so that you can uh, run away from the Snorlax. <laughs> oh well. And, yeah, we're going to get ourselves uh, the T from Rock, or the Peter Countries, and also T as well. Uh, the T is mainly to bribe the security guards, which have been bribed by Team Rocket. That's why they don't let you in. Because, you know, Team Rocket's taking over the entire city, and we don't want anyone else to go in. And, yeah. Uh, Arcanine is just really great for now for moving over right home because it is, if I'm not mistaken, like one of the second fastest, if not second fastest rides in the game or something. I yeah, want to say it's that it's like a pixel per frame slower than like Rapidash and Aerodactyl. Which yeah. is faster, a lot faster than Rhyhorn. But it's still faster you. than Rhyhorn, so. And so Rhyhorn doesn't have to, so you don't have to like immediately switch to Ponyta if you don't get it. Like, you can, like, what I do a lot often, which is, like, delay the Ponyta level up, the Ponyta Rare Candy, to do, so I can do Ponyta and Starmie's Rare Candy at the same time. Just, you know, slightly more optimal. Yeah. Alright, so Albie's gonna be the one to make it to Route 17. Yeah, and we're going to see uh, the funniest. I I just find this to be like the real, the most bizarre trainer skips in the entire game because it's like <laughs> she, a trainer can clearly see you, right? It's like, nah, how? <laughs> nah, we all Not know that trainers are blind in this game. Yeah, very short-sighted. Uh, but yeah, this is 
the beginning of the last catching section of the run, we're looking for a, a bunch of Pokemon here. Uh, most notably yeah. the, the Dodo, which Abby gets instantly, and the oh. Ponyta, which yeah. we have talked about just before uh, being the fastest ride that you can get during the run. Yeah, Ponyta, absolutely. Like, well, technically, Rapidash is the Pokemon that yeah. we really want, but Ponyta evolves into Rapidash. Uh, depending on your catch count here, yeah, I think there's like one time I've been on a catch count so high that the only two Pokemon I needed were Ponyta and Star, Star, Star you, and I could just leave. But that's when like the stars align. Yeah. We need the stars line for you, Zarian. He desperately needs an instant ponytail with all of the walking that he's going to be yep. doing. Yeah. He's like, nope, that's a Dodrio, so he doesn't need that. That is an Eevee for Aspect. See if Aspect Demo. chooses to go for this. Probably not. Yep, no. Uh, uh, understandable. That's a Pidgeotto. Well. Yeah, so no ponytail yet. That's a rat. Just having a nice stroll down. That's a Psyduck, so that is a cat Pokemon he doesn't need. But there the horses. That, yeah. oh, where's the horse? We see a duck, we see a rat, but, you know, as everyone has a duck on screen, I didn't realize. <laughs> the duck party. But We're playing no duck duck ponytail instead of duck duck goose. Or duck duck grey <laughs> goose. Or duck duck grey duck, I think There's it no is in like the Midwest. For, no horse for anyone. There's a Pidgey for Abby, but I'm pretty sure she already has the bird. Yeah, she already has the bird. <laughs> Three more side <laughs> Still no... I think Abby. Nope, no horse yet. Oh, that's a horse! That's the wrong horse. <laughs> Not the horse that you want. And there there it is. you go, there's the first pony tip. Looked like she was actually going to go for the Rapidash, which is... Uh, that's a rough catch. Uh, Ultra Ball... Silver Raz is not that bad, but man, yeah, I'm not four. getting the good end of a stick. Pony Aspect. Encounter. The Saren's still walking. This is so rough. Another sad act. Oh, oh no. The oh, Dodo is running, running away. away. Oh, okay. okay, good, 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 good. good. Okay, good decision to finally <laughs> amounts. Finally. So. One thing for that I was probably gonna do like immediately is going into the bag, red candy, and then mounting it as soon as possible. For sure. Yeah, uh, with the Gratis stretch for Aspect, he's not gonna have to candy the pony because he can just keep running on that or, or riding on that Arcanine for a little while. It's not that much slower like we established. Yeah. Uh, so you can save the candy, which is. Uh, really the main benefit of this strat. And, Not really uh, to save a candy, I mean, you can sit, from what I've learned from yesterday, from my run yesterday, you can absolutely save a candy and technically skip the Lacrosse candy, but mainly it's just so that you can also just optimally menu both the Starmie and the Rapidash should you need to. You don't have to go into the candy jar twice. Like yeah, exactly, you don't have to do an extra menu to, to evolve the Rapidash like what, uh, both EV runners are gonna do here. Also, instantly gonna select that as a ride, especially for <laughs> Yusarian, who's really gonna need that extra movement speed. Now can get yeah. rid of the EV. And hopefully, the Dodo hasn't gone too far because there is a trainer on that path. So, yeah. that could be awkward. Okay, no, it's still there. Yeah, no, no, he's, he's fine. Aspect now done with his catches. Uh, did not get do, do did not get do duo Dodrio, so he is marking those off. But just needs to chance start. for Magmar strats. He's not. I do, don't think so. I don't. He's not doing that. He need, He just needs a star and a muck and a grimer, yeah. and he's uh, good to go. And he'll be at it's, his fifth. He's gonna Listen, have to have last. Yeah. I have hope. Always. Uh, the way that Aspect's been punished this. This race, I don't think he's gonna. I don't think the... he's going to nine rush. I don't think he needs to. Uh, as for everyone else, uh, according to at least their trackers, uh, Albi is also hasn't marked Magma either. Just needs the Weezing and the Staryu, and uh, she's good to go. Uh, Yuzari hasn't have anything like quote tracked. It doesn't have like anything like quote plan, but at least from what I'm assuming, 
with 40 going out of here, probably needs Staryu, which gets to 42, Coughing, which gets to 44, uh, probably needs the Tentacle to get to 46. Uh, Lapras, Porygon gets to 48. I'm probably missing one Pokemon. Two po- he's, he's definitely, like, short two Pokemon. If I'm not, if I'm not, if I'm not, like, counting this wrong. Yeah, Yozarian should be fine. Uh, there was, like, a little bit of a technical issue with Yozarian's tracker, so we're tracking those manually right now, which is why we can't see the plan. But it should be yeah. fine with uh, uh, okay, the evolutions so that he currently has, bones, plus so Star. Bowak will get him to 49. So if anyone's likely to catch Magmods, uh, Yozarian. But he does have the dodo, so doesn't really need oh, he does it have for the dodo. Like So just a tentacle that he then needs to get as extra compared to everyone else. Uh, Aspect not getting a star yet is the first to potentially get the star, but we haven't seen one yet spawn. So hopefully the star doesn't take you know too long to see. We've seen a tentacruel. Ah, oh, there's a star. And let's see, the CP of this star is... Yeah, 1,088. Yeah, so slightly higher than average, but we know that CP is just a CP number. CP is just a combined stats. Like, you could still have bad CP, but really good special attack, or the other way around. Yeah. But it's a good indicator. And the Alvina star, she's going to have a star of... 1070, okay. 1070. Also slightly, slightly lower above than average. average. Slightly lower than aspects. Ooh, this star is jumping around. I see it. Ooh, Ooh I'm this is circle. And Yuzarian and... is the star as well. Yuzarian star actually... is 1065. Okay. So aspect does technically have the best star of the bunch. So far. That's the star with the highest base set total. Uh, for highest, sure. Okay, highest CP. We don't know if it's actually a good star yet. Yeah, we, we don't know if uh, where those base stats are going to be distributed. This could be the hot, the hardest hitting star because most of the points went into special attack. Whereas, I don't know, Aspect might be very yeah. low on special attack. Unfortunately, I, I still do not know numbers of stars very well, so you guys are going to have to cover that for me. Yeah, we're going to watch that. We're going to watch those level ups like a hawk. Yeah, it's about the vibes. So he's got to feel the number of vibes. It'll also be interesting to see what people do the menus. Uh, typically, I like to do the menu just before the fight coming up. Uh, Aspect's actually doing the menu now, so we're gonna have to pay attention to yeah. uh, the start also, very soon. I also just usually do it when I'm done catching. Right, to level 44 and Ooh, oh no well, the uh the ultra ball missed so it's just the great ball so they have a punish yes uh aspect star yeah. has good special attack slightly concerning speed i'm not sure i think, I think it's the speed fine. should be fine might speed tie the rapidash but overall yeah. pretty decent it's a little on the lower side for sure but it just goes through three rare candies right now to 46 which, yeah according uh, to sheep a good special attack but might outspeed but might get outsped by the rapidash but with the third candy it should be good goodbye magmar or half of magmar on albie's screen <laughs> farewell <laughs> So that's the special attack for Aspect. Uh, we'll see later on because AVs can be given to special attack and that can definitely change a lot of ranges to be in uh, uh, Aspect's favor. Uh, now we're going to be seeing um, Albi star. Looks like Yozarin is also done with catches now. Just caught so, himself a coughing. 95 huh. speed. I think that's... Good. Yeah, this is amazing speed, worse special attack, for sure. You'd never want to see a 70 at any point while leveling up the star. Yeah, this is decent special attack. A yeah, I don't think I've lower. ever seen a star with 100 speed at 46. 
Yeah, this is this is really fast. Also, Magmar and Aspect, we just accidentally run into that. Yeah, not yeah. Like it. he doesn't have any Ultra Balls, so he's not going to even risk it. Good choice. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. Yeah, we did have a 100 speed star yesterday, that's true. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, one of us one pays attention yeah, to the fine. speed, and the other one of us pays attention to the special attack. 116 we special attack. Eep. That's certainly a number. Yeah, it's it's fine, actually. I mean, I think we had a, a special attack on a star yesterday of like 108 at 46 or 45. So 116 compared to that you know, is fine. Fair. Uh, not going to win you any awards. Okay, that coffin is in the way. Zarian also doing the menu right before chat, even after yep. summoning the support trainer. It's fine. These runners know what they're doing, even if it gives <laughs> us a little bit of a jump scare. Yep. I mean, I do my menu just before this fight anyway. Although I tend to do the menu as I go down the steps, not just before, just, just before that. Okay. Yeah, this is, I think, the best of the stars so far for you, Zarian. Agreed. In terms Great of special 45, it was 91, 95, I believe. Can probably just go for uh, two for two here, so I'll just level it to forty-five at this point. It does go to forty-six, which is. I mean, oh, does it really standard. matter if you forty level forty-five to level forty-six now? Would it doesn't be... matter. Like the speed was high enough, uh, and if you just go to forty-five, there's a bit of a higher chance that you get turnarounds later. Uh, but really, it's, it's negligible. You don't have to think about that too hard. I think. Yeah, I was like, if I just have the three rare candies, I'm just gonna give it to them. I was like. I can't be asked to be, like, very specific. <laughs> I just know that giving four is a mistake. Early. At least allegedly it's a mistake. See a clearer look at Starmie's base stats here. 124 special attack is what I saw. Very solid. Oh, that rat attack? <laughs> yeah, I like the rat. So all of our three runners currently are like within a bad archer choose length apart. Yeah. Which is like, prob right, probably the closest we've been so far uh, in this tournament. Advice: two plus two is safer to avoid turnarounds, but it's not not. But it's not unless you have to use extra X items. But basically, it's not worth going two over two, two plus two over three plus. One, unless the star is great. Yeah, so exactly. unless you have a really good star, not really worth going for. Uh, 2 plus 2 over 3 plus 1, unless you don't have like, axe to the candy or something, I don't know. Because you only have like what, one more rare candy to pick up at this point, which is the... Well, two if you pick up the mansion candy, but one if you have the... Um, uh, just the Lapras candy. Yeah, uh, uh, the the decision to go three plus one here for Yasarian again it doesn't really mean too much, uh, but I think he had a good enough start to potentially have gone two plus two. Anyway, also here for this quiz it's pretty simple. Uh, the first and the last one is always the top answer, and the as at least optimally just the top answer, and then the other two the other three questions is the one below is one, but either up or down. So it's one, two, 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 one. I'll have you know that what's that is my preferred answer of choice for TM28 Tombstoney. Yeah. What's it for me? <laughs> that, is, that is also a respectable answer. Just I personally just like doing one, just remembering one input, which is uh, down. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, you can also go to up for the other uh, question where the answer is two. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, call F is a one, two, two, three, three. Okay. Enjoy it. So, anyway, what? we're getting through Blaine now. I guess we should talk about that. Uh, Abby does have to heal paralysis here. Doesn't get poison very good. But hey, guess what? We finally get our third gym badge. Only took us. 
an hour, 20 minutes. <laughs> Looks like yeah, Aspect's uh, star was good enough to outspeed the Rapid Ash or beat the speed tie. Yeah. That's oh, sorry, quick update. Uh, Aspect actually did 1, 2, 2, 3, 5 this time mm -hmm. around. I should probably make this a note. Uh, the last question you can't answer anything is just one is just the most optimal. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I hope you're not like gym fights because that's what we're going to be doing for like the next few few moments because uh, yeah, turns out doing the gyms early is uh, not necessarily a good idea. So instead, we just have our star and we're going to take a page. Well, I say we take a page from Star and Violet's book of just doing either gyms of an overlevel Pokemon, but this game did technically do this first, so... Yeah. I guess technically Scarlet and Violet took a page out of this game's book? Hey, if I mean, we can I feel do like... gyms in any order, we'll do them in any order that we want. Thank you very much. Yeah, I feel we like that's been well, a we thing in really Pokemon speedrunning for years now. Just one, one, two, and eight have a specific order, but... Three, four, five, six, seven can be done in any order we like. Not like in the original Fire and Leaf, in the original games or Fire and Leaf Green, because uh, back in back in my day, <laughs> but back in those days, uh, HMs were tied to gym badges. But in this game, that's not the case. Anyway, we're on a second to do the... Lieutenant Search Gym next. This one, they're gonna be the most overleveled for, since it's, uh, I believe Search's party is in their 20s, and Starmie is level 45 or 46 here. So Man, I hope all these uh, runners set up uh, can manip properly before the run. I'm not saying a word about this. No. Pokemon, let's go commentators have one set of jokes. <laughs> yes. That is true. We only have one set of jokes that we're going to repeat until the race is over. Let's so, see. Does he get it? The top can Oh, that, that's one of them. And uh, is he going to get the second barrier almost immediately? Let's go. The What's everyone's favorite type of can? <laughs> I uh, prefer the can can. <laughs> that's very good. Yeah, I, I, I don't sure. think I have, like, a favorite. You've got, like, Cancun. you got, like... I think my favorite type of can is I think I can can sometimes do this one. Yeah. Yes, you can. Ooh, Canada. Canada. How did I forget about Canada? <laughs> yeah. How could I possibly have forgotten about Canada? That's a pretty easy thing to forget, actually. Ooh, honestly, Spam is a kind of Spam is god good. item. So yeah, anyway, uh, minus attack Pikachu. That should explain a lot of things. Also, the fact that these runners are all like very good and are keeping pace with each other. So it looks like uh, Aspect has just finished Surge. Albi has just started Surge. Um, two pokes separate the two, and then Yuzarian has just finished Blaine on the same catch, catch count as Aspect. Yeah. Still have so a couple of varying fights to go. Yeah, Aspect's definitely like pretty far ahead of the other two runners if we take like catch count into consideration. Uh, if we take catch count into consideration, I think Yuzari and Albi are pretty actually neck and neck when it comes to uh, like it might not look neck and neck, but it's like remember Albi has still has uh, two more evolutions to actually uh go through, whereas Yuzari does not. So. Might be a bit closer than no, those two. Might be a bit closer than we might see. Than we might see, and it'll be interesting to see, like you know, what strats people go for in the Elite Four, and see if anyone choose to go for uh, risky strats in the Elite Four. Yeah, the best true indicator of pace and how these runners will fare for the the end game is basically like right after Koga. Yeah. Yeah. It's like at that point, it's like we exactly know who is ahead and who is behind. Assuming they yeah. know how to count to 50. Uh, Pokotex, how are you making a great point in chat here? Albi's PB is a 312.54 currently. 
Oh and... yeah, that's so easily smashable right now. Yeah, she's on a great pace to beat that. So that's another thing to keep in mind for the rest of this race. Also something I wanted to talk about with this uh, little gym crawl that we do here. There's actually two reasons why we postpone the Cannon Surge's gym. Uh, one, of course, is that a level 20-something Pika and Eevee will have a much harder time of dealing with those electric types uh, compared to a level 46 Starmie. But the other reason is also that if you did this, if you were to do this right after the boat section, there would actually be another mandatory cutscene that happens uh, with Misty right after the gym. Right, uh, I and completely by, forgotten about that. Yeah, by reordering the gyms, that cutscene just doesn't happen at all. So, and I still find it funny though that the trace cutscene still plays and be like, "Oh yeah, that's weird. You've done seven gyms, right? <laughs> right." Goes to show you that they somehow anticipated uh, that people would skip the Tim Surge's gym, but they did not anticipate that people would get to Cinema Island that early. Ah, uh, we're soon approaching everyone's favorite fight. Erica. No, not that one. Don't worry, we'll get there. <laughs> Almost fire blast time says aspect in chat. Absolutely. Oh yeah, yes. that, 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 uh, don't scare the Colosseum out of the way. We don't want them to scare them away. <laughs> yeah, simply like, have. Don't mention the word. Don't mention the sacred words. Fire blast all the numbers. Ty will just simply hit the fire blast and it'll be fine. It, it'll be fine for sure. All right. We don't want to scare them away. Okay. We gotta respect. We gotta set. We gotta respect the feelings of other of other game runners. Yeah. Let's talk about cute Pokemon instead. Let's talk about the fact that you can literally show it anything you like, uh, and it apparently passes for cute. Yeah, which is objectively correct. Every Pokemon is cute. Although, I think it's to say that any Kanto Pokemon is cute. Uh, we don't actually have a I guess so. confirmation if any Pokemon outside of Kanto is cute. Also, the uh, Alolan Kanto. versions of the Kanto Pokemon. Uh, the Alolan versions are cute, because again, any Pokemon is cute. Just only those that are at least in this game are at least considered cute. Shout yeah. out still Lolan Vulpix. Oh yeah, you shout out. Summoning Greta. <laughs> I also really like Alone in Sand True and Sand Slash. Shout out to Alolan Mark for being interesting. <laughs> Design wise. It's certainly memorable. Yeah, hey, I also like its typing. Poison Dark, you know, pretty good typing. Yeah, that is unique typing for sure. Yeah, it gets it gets used in Diploma to uh, to tank the the Mewtwo fight. Wait, it does? I'm pretty sure it does. In some strats, yeah. It might be the current Optimus strat. Did not know that. So. Let's look at the page anyway. here. Everyone's on 47 catches. Uh, Aspect just making it to Surf Co. I'll be on the Erica fight and just airing close behind. Just one more push to cut. Yeah. Uh, but so anything really can go wrong. And the first thing that can go wrong is uh, the blue fight. The only time you fight blue in this game and category, for some reason, he chooses to fight now because you yeah. know, you're trying to save this, this building. And he's like, nah, we're going to fight you first. And uh, we're about to meet the one Pokemon where our perfect coverage is not quite so, you know, perfect. Which is the fact that we're going to see an, exec an Executor, the only Pokemon that resists Electric, Psychic, and Water. But thankfully, depending on what strats you pick, um, you're either going to be... Wait, did you not summon the second player? I guess you forgot to summon the second player. I can't still summon it in battle. Yeah. yeah uh, you um... have a choice of Consistency, a Drill Peck. Assuming you at least have one X attack, or you can go for Fire Blast strats, or if you are Dynam, you can also go for Magma strats and pick between Fire Punch and Flame Flower, I guess. Hey, I've mm -hmm, also done mm -hmm. that before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But none of our, none of our runners will be using Magma strats today. So okay, use the Fire Blast. We, we're going to be seeing two Fire Blasts. Okay, hit from two of our runners and one Drill Peck from another one of our runners. I did the animation skip on the fly animation. <laughs> Very nice. 
If you walk backwards just a little bit, you can step under the awning of the Celadon Gym and then skip the, the Sky Dash animation. Very I recent attack that saves like a second or two. I remember yeah. Edge posting like big new time save in Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go and it's just that and it's like oh hey it's literally two seconds of the freest time save in your life. For you sure. take those. So aspect making it through the blue fight. Abby's gonna be right there in the blue fight, but she has uh, Dodrio, so she's gonna be absolutely yeah. fine. All right. What beating blue means though fight. is that the big bad is on the horizon. Yeah. Uh, Archer 2. That fight has a very special place in the Distortion World next to Arvin's Greedent and also Crash Awake from BDSP. <laughs> yeah, that's an exclusive clap of it's extremely an exclusive annoying. Clap. Also, also the Mars and Jupiter double and Cyrus battle in BDSP, but we're, we're not going to go there. And almost every fight in BDSP, but <laughs> mainly, but. And yeah, and Archer 2 has the exclusive distinction of. Ju no, it's one fight, it's one fight per game. You only get you only get to pick one fight. So let's see. There's many things that they can go, but the perfect fight obviously is explosion no protect. So let's see what happens. Oh, we get it. No protect, perfect. That is actually like the best, the best version of the fight that we get to see. Yeah, At least for right now. If Cubone goes for focus energy right now, this is probably like the, one of the best, but better fights we've seen so far. Yeah, this is the only it does. opening of the fight that uh, gives you a chance at a three-turn archer, which is the fastest you can beat this fight. So Aspect yeah. is in a great situation here. Yeah, so this could be three-turn if Cubone behaves. Yeah, all it needs to do is Bone Meringue the Eradicate twice. It does have the option to go for Headbutt against the Golbat if it yeah. decides to target it. But we're hoping for Bone Meringue here. Yep. No! It, it is a crit! It's this, it's the weekend. Yeah, only if it, if it crits on the Bone Meringue now. If it goes yeah. for a Bone Meringue and crits on one of the heads. But even then, four turn fight is absolutely perfectly acceptable. Like, three is perfect, four is good, five is and anything lower than six is bad. Oh. Weezing is protect. Yes, yeah. you know that. Red kick goes down, so it's still a four turn, but uh, yeah. Yeah. that's annoying. We take those. Yeah. We'll take those any day of the week. So yeah, four that turn is absolutely like perfectly acceptable. Now, it's Albie's turn. Let's see how good or bad, in comparison, this fight's going to be for Albie. We're hoping to see very similar start to how we pretty much I say that as long as the Electro goes for self-destruct, the fight's fine. Like if I'd never like seeing Thunderbolt in a, in the only one like seeing Thunderbolt. So we just wanna see, you know just the same fight as we wanna see the same fight as aspect. I think. Notably Yozarian, uh good presence of mind there to cancel out of uh, using skull and using hydro pump instead on the Charizard. Noting that he has only one special attack left, and that needs to be used on uh, Giovanni 2's fight for the Starmie. Yeah, we had a oh, similar, similar situation a yesterday. That is a Thunderbolt for Albi. That's uh, no paralysis, so yeah. you're gonna have to unfortunately spam super potions until eventually the Electro goes down and chooses to blow itself up. Well, yeah. That is true, but potentially you can still get a 4 turn out of this if it blows yeah. up immediately. Which it does, yeah, okay. so... Like, just like still that. on track for the 4 turn. Yep. And then Cubone, please attack. Perfect! This is the fastest 4 turn that you, that you can get, basically. Because now there's, uh... Yeah. Only the two Pokemon... Now you just spam Psychic and you'll have to worry about Sucker Punch. Now it's time for Yazarian, who also gets Thunderbolt. Psychic, turn 1. Thunderbolt, no protect. Does have to uh, super potion uh, until Electro decides to blow itself up, which hopefully it should do. If not, Cubone should be able to take out the Electro if it doesn't. So you do have the super potion. Does self destruct. So hopefully Cubone goes for Boomerang and knocks out the Eradicate. Okay, both of them getting the good opening here. So no, poisoned. Oh, Weezing protected on uh, Albi's side, so this is like five, five turn? Yeah. That's a, yeah, so 
Four turns for Aspect, five turns for Albi, and let's see if this Weezing decides to protect on Yozarian's side. But overall, not bad archers. Yeah. Archer's normally more of a pain, but not, not today. Just see if there's a protect from Weezing. Yeah, Sadly, okay, so... Also. Aspect Lots getting the lucky turn. one with four, Albi and Yazarian getting a pretty okay with five turns. Yeah, yeah. to be fair, also Weezy just protected on every runner's <laughs> archer today, so... That is true. I don't know if that's foreshadowing for a certain other gym that we'll be coming up with. The game's getting out, like out of it. it's gonna happen, Diamond. Listen, I don't believe in commentators, Chris. Yeah, well, some of us do. Uh, but speaking of which, now it's time for a pretty simple fight. Uh, Jesse and James 2 is... So not Jesse and James 2, Jesse and James 4. Very easy fight. Now that we have a Pokemon that can actually hit poison types for weakness. Well, I'm saying it like this is in the trading card game. Like, hitting something for weakness. Well, whatever. Yeah, and then, it's going to 2 damage. Yeah. And then, of course, a Giovanni. Pretty simple fight. Uh, X special, then Skull Spam is gonna be um easy going if an after this we're doing the final shop of the game or also obtaining the most useless item in the game being the master ball i take great offense to that it, it has a slow catching animation but you can color coordinate with the venonat it's so cool <laughs> look so I will be honest, Venomoth is on my tracker thanks to your uh, creativity, but aside from that, it, no one should ever be going for the moth. Not even in other Scarlet and Violet categories should you ever go for the moth anymore because it's been outclassed. I think that's just Venomoth slander in my opinion, but anyway, moving <laughs> forward. I mean, that is Venomoth. I mean, congratulations, you got into my <laughs> clash of Venomoth slander. Anyway. Uh, now we finally turn the Master Ball, we finally go up to get the get the Lapras. Uh, you shouldn't skip the Lapras, as I've been told, in from my race. Because apparently exactly. it is still fast enough, even if you're not getting the candy. Yeah, it is the slowest of the three uh, gift Pokémon that you get, but it is still faster than a regular catch. And then we're gonna go in. Yeah, we're gonna do a shop. This shop is uh, the final shop in the game. We're gonna be buying a bunch of X specials. Uh, we're gonna be seeing if our runners choose to buy X special defenses because this will tell us whether or not they're going for specific strats in the Elite Four. We're also gonna buy some X speeds, some healing items, max repels because we no longer need to catch any other Pokemon. And. Depending on how many healing items they have used, they may choose to buy or skip buying full heals. Depending on how many uh, of their free heal, of their full heal replacements plus antidotes and awakenings they have used. Typically, if you use none of the, if you're lucky enough to not use any of your full healing items, then you can actually just skip uh, buying full heals altogether. But again, it does depend on. How many full? Uh, how many of those healing items you still have? So here comes the Porygon. This should now be 50 for for Aspect, as he's marked 50 on his tracker. So he's good to go. The catching part well, of the run is over. Assuming he actually can count to 50, that is a difficult thing to do. By the way, I have <laughs> managed to not count to 50 and. When coming back into this game, I kind of realized, wait, where's my 50th? And I realized I never actually picked up Porygon every single time. And that's where the Master Ball and the Venonat comes into play. You just I do Omega Ball Early Teeth and Alpha Sapphire. Shout out to Luggy, by the way, who ended up doing that in her her race. My hero in. So, Aspect did buy um, X Special Defenses. So, he could be going for... Um... The One Piece strats for uh, Billy Four, which, uh, as I've learned, is uh, not entirely great. Even if you have the best of special attacks, uh, 
all it takes is Lance to, you know, hyper beam crit you and uh, you lose a minute. Yeah. With the aspect being in the lead, they could probably consider going for safety threats here just to get it over the line. Because that would reduce the likelihood of um, the other runners being able to catch up. But uh, I do respect buying the extra special defense now, maybe just choosing the strat later on, depending on how the rest of the run goes up until then. Well, maybe it's just muscle memory. It's just like you're so used to buying extra special defenses that you just keep in your pop, keep it, keep buying them. Yeah, that too, for sure. But yeah, having the option, he does also have the extra defense. So if he wants to go for the one PGO. He also has that option. I have also been crit in that fight once. Funny how I got crit in Geo before I got crit in Lance in my all my attempts. Well, I mean, yeah, the odds are slightly lower on Geo, right? Because it hits you, the 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 uh, that you hits you less, times. but uh... compared to uh, Lance is like five. Although Slash does have a high crit chance, so. Yeah, I guess so, but it's the earthquake crits that you're worried about on the Geo fight. Anyway, Aspect made it to Sabrina. We want to see either a light screen turn one or no light screen at all here. Yeah. Coming out of the Mr. Mime. So if you want if you want to see light screen, ideally you want to see it, yeah. Ideally either turn one or never. Turn two is a bit awkward, you just have to like spend a turn stalling. Yeah. But it's not like the worst thing. See what we get here. So, nice optimal menu for those extra specials and does get light screen turn one, so this is just a normal fight. This is the standard fight that almost always goes for light screen turn one. Yeah. I've Expert. never seen it skip light screen entirely. Like every time it hasn't used it turn one, it's always used to turn two for me. Yeah. But it apparently is the thing that can happen. And yeah, nice, at least not seeing a reflect, you don't have to see the text box of reflect later on. Nice. I also did not see Albi shop. She skipped over uh, X special defenses as well as X an X defense, so this denotes so, that she'll be going for safe strats in the end game. Fully committed to two. Uh, Yozarin did buy the X special defenses. Will he buy the X defense? Yes. yes. Yeah, gonna like, try to make it for lost time. Yeah, I feel like in Yuzarian's situation, that's definitely the choice to to make. Yeah. If so, you want to catch Albi up. is fully committed to safe stress. Like, she doesn't have VX special defenses, no VX defense. So, she is 100% going for safe strats no matter what. Whereas, at least uh, Yuzarian has a choice. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So, that could be the, the difference making to catch up. But, like I said, there is a. Uh, one other challenge that will appear coming right up. Uh, everyone's favorite gym trainer. <laughs> yeah, Aspect is going to see that gym trainer in a minute. not going to have any problem, but you know, we'll see. First up, there's a bigger menu here right after Sabrina where you deposit everything that you don't need in your party, which is everything except the Starmie and the Rapidash. Also, you can use the elixir here for Starmie to restore some PP. And heal yep. the foe? Probably also want to... No, doesn't choose us not to heal the poison off the Rapidash. Well... That will lose time in rival... To... Rival 5, right? Uh, I think that could denote that he wants to suck it on, uh, on Giovanni. So if it dies, the poison will obviously also go away. Uh... Okay, that oh, is he a, was yeah, just so he's probably it. doing them safe strats for Geo. Then. Yeah. So, because no, if you're not doing safe strats for Geo, then you don't want your Rapid Ash to be poisoned, because then you're wasting uh, turn times on poison ticks on uh, rival 5. Yeah. Noting that Aspect has 128 special attack on his star currently, um, That'll guarantee the skull range on the Venomoth, but it also pushes a 14 and 16 on the Weezing just to keep track of psychic counts for them. So we'll see what happens and how many they, they, they use this on Kaden. 
since they just elixir they have 10 pp now that they have to spend very wisely uh because they're needed up all the way into victory road yeah. uh, before that does he have 50. let's see he does have 50. so he's well on his way to finally beat the game but before that we have to get to through everyone's favorite tra gym trainer, Caden, who is actually the gym, the real gym leader of this of this uh, place. I also know that 128 is a number where you can technically go for a four, for a bit of a range on the Neo King with Psychic plus Stomp, but it's assuming that Aspect has enough Psychics after this gym. It's not guaranteed. 150 is guaranteed. Alright, let's see. So, X special. Mm -hmm. That's, That's not the opening. That's not, not the opening nothing. you want right, to see. I see runners just go for here. a psychic turn two here if you get poisoned. Yeah, to avoid that minimize right so, there. Which that is... happened to me. I mean, but oh boy, this is not great. That's a protect. Just hit. Just hit. Okay, it's fine. Didn't get trolled by the minimize. If you start missing on this fight, you're gonna get, you're gonna have a bad time because you're gonna get poisoned again. Maybe there's yeah. another minimize or two, uh, so or even a moon blast. Yeah, so. Or here, and the beetle did not protect. So pretty okay, Caden. Like losing two turns on Mark is annoying. And what losing what two psychics? We should still be fine. Uh, yeah. Aspect can go for Scald on Venomoth, so saves at least one second PP there. Uh, might even want to go for that range on Weezing. 14 and 16 is not the end of the world. Yeah. Uh, Koga is a pretty simple. Uh, 120. What does 128 do for Koga's gem? Uh, Danim just said it. It's guaranteed Scald range on, on Venomoth and 14 and 16 on Weezing. Let's see if he chooses to go for any of those. Did I see 139 special attack on Yazarian screen, or was that 129? I did not see. I was not. Playing. I also not see, but I hope it's 129 because 139 would be out of this world. I am very sleepy still. <laughs> I'm seeing things. I, I was... mean, obviously it would be good for him, but. Yeah. Is 139 even possible? I didn't realize that was an even a number that could happen at this point. I'm not sure. Oh, 135, sorry. Okay, yeah. That's, that's high, but not completely out there. <laughs> like, 139 is like Dragonite range already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 140 is guaranteed Dragonite range at 53, so <laughs> 139 at 49 is, uh, that would be absolutely crack. So, I'll be set Caden. Alright, let's see this Caden fight. Special protect. Okay, that's uh, the perfect opening. The perfect Very opening. Solid. She's gonna. She's not gonna have any trouble at all. Makes makes up a little bit of time on aspect here. Yeah. Well, Pedro. Oh, no protect. Also doesn't get, this is actually, actually the perfect Caden. The perfect Caden fight. The rare perfect Caden. Amazing. The perfect Caden fight where Caden does not wish to be friends with you. Leave as soon yeah. as possible. Let's see what he is, Ari. Let's see what he gets. I'd like to also see the perfect Caden fight, ideally. So we've seen one okay Caden fight and one bad Caden fight. Moon Blast. <laughs> Last turn one, no special attack drops, so this is still fine. Ah, well. Protect turn two. But this is fine now. This is gonna hit. Okay, it's a little slow, yeah. but uh, it's better still than aspects. So three decent. Well, if Beedro doesn't protect it, better. I did say it was better. Yeah. There okay. So yeah, yeah. This is three turn Caden. So I'll be having the best being three. Yozarian having four, and aspect having five on Caden. Yeah. Uh, getting. Poison immediately on the Weezing in this fight is not ideal, but it's not the worst thing in the world. No, it's absolutely fine, actually. Uh, 
and does choose to go for Psychic on Weezing. So probably not having the best of special attacks. Aspect is getting the work animation skip here. Yeah, very good. Yep, as long as you hug the top side of the that little area, the rival doesn't walk down to you and just talks to you from where you're at. Neat little time save there. And now we have Mega Revolution in Keystones. Wow, it was as if we're gonna we're never gonna be using Mega Revolution in the entire speedrun because sadly there's no Mega Stami. Is Iron okay. also getting toxic into protect, but should be fine now. Although, if we want to do a thing where uh, let's go commentary, people have no jokes, we will be seeing a Mega Pokemon at some point. Yeah. Also, Yuzarin can definitely go for the Skull Rangers here, I'm not sure. He probably doesn't know. Yeah. I, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I, beginner yeah. notes do not have the Skull Rangers written. He, he's not a beginner at all. He has a 3 or 3 PB. Oh, yeah, that is true. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know why he's not. Might be Maybe his special attack is not that good. I mean, we just established that it was 135. Wait, is it 135? Wow, okay, yeah. never mind. Yeah. It, it's fine. I mean, uh, second card yeah. is still Either fine. way, it gets yeah. you through the fight just fine. It, it, Absolutely. It, it, if it kills the thing, it kills the thing. It doesn't matter if you use Scold or Psychic. Yeah, especially if you already, like, know your Psychic management for the rest of, like, all through Giovanni and through Rival 5, it's totally fine to just spam Psychic, to just not have to menu up. Alright, now we're gonna have some uh, interesting yes, decisions You're from, 128. from our runners coming into Giovanni's gym. Uh, the first interesting decision is whether or not they're going to uh, one controller or two controller. Uh, oh, what's his, what's his trainer name again? Samuel. Samuel. I assume Aspect's gonna go for Dream Controller here because it's his race to lose. Yeah. Uh, but I guess we'll see in a second. Albie might choose two control. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Yazari might choose one because mm -hmm. you he is behind. So that's yeah. the two C Samuel. Very safe. He just. Uh, X special and psychic, or if you have good enough. Uh, he does have one. Muscle. If I remember, aspects have a key. He does have one twenty-eight. So if he wants to risk a range, he can risk psychic stomp if he has enough psychics. Yeah, does have enough psychics. Does Actually, have enough for the psychic pump. Choose not to. Uh, for the score, no, that's what you. That's what you go for. Never mind. I yeah. remember with the psychic. That is yeah. the correct strat. The correct strat is X special skull, but you can yeah. go for um psychic stomp if uh, you have enough special type or if you just have enough psychics because you still need like one or psychics after I'm this not... you need two no oh, i'm pretty sure version you need like up to three yeah you need four actually four yeah, you, need four you need well technically you can score the marowak so you really only need three. Oh yeah no that's correct so you only need Ideally four, because you don't want to, yeah. you know, super effective, but you do need at least three after Giovanni. Minimum. Exactly. So I guess Aspect could have used Psychic, but obviously Skull is just the correct thing to do there. So let's see if they want to one see Uh, no, no this is two. No, he, does, he has his uh, Poison Rapidash, so I guess yeah. he wants to do two C. Yes, yeah, uh, at this point, probably the smartest thing to do if you're not gonna heal the poison. Yeah, Aspect, you were one. If from what I remember, you were one twenty-eight. Yeah. 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 So that's at least what I remember. I think Yazarian's at one thirty-five. I actually don't remember what Albi's special attack was. Yeah, I missed it too. Guess we'll have to wait till fifty. Yeah. Uh, does 135 have any 126, fun? 126, okay. 126. Yeah, so that's the lowest of the three, yeah. but, uh... Still pretty it's, decent. It's okay, yeah, it's okay, so attack. Yeah, so... Uh, anything special? 
can still can Hydra can do uh, one oh, train of Samuel. Is going for one C here. Yeah, Albie's, Albie's going for one train of Samuel. Let's start hitting those pumps. First pump of the run. Actually, does have enough second, second pump, pump of the run because Yuzara <laughs> ended up pumping the Charizard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, really. that's true. <laughs> First pump for Albie at least, but yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Pump. Let's go. There we yeah. go. Easy. I'm hoping that these runners have better pump luck than I did, because my pump luck was actually... Alright, there's like two fights that you normally use, like there's like Naomi, I miss that pump, and then... Uh, what's the other fight that you normally pump? That Jinx fight. Caroline, yeah. Caroline, I must also miss that pump too. Is yeah, there so an odds for 1C? probably gonna go for 1C, right? The onus is on Yazarian to make up for lost time and yeah, catch up Ozarian to Abby here. Yeah, is going for 1C. Uh, so all he has to do is hit the pump, and I do believe he does have enough special type for pump. Yeah, he does. You just need yeah, one for, sure. for pump to get the knockout. Yeah, the really interesting thing between, like, right now Aspect is definitely in the lead, and Albi and Yozarin are jockeying for, for a second right now. Albi has, like, the luxury of being able to see, like, the things that Yozarin is doing and whether or not he's able to catch up to her. And so Albi can kind of adjust her strategy as needed to see if, like, if Yozarin, like, goes for 1C Giovanni and, like, does things really fast. She might have to pick up the pace a little bit in Victory Road in, in some, E4. Yeah, there are some strats that Albi did lock herself into. Like, remember, she does not have the X defend in this fight, so she cannot go for 1P Giovanni. And she also does not have any X special defenses, so she cannot go for 1P Lance or 1P uh, Champion. Right. So, there are some limitations. That, Aspect um, talking to Rapid Ash. So there are some limitations into the strats, and yeah, we do see this right now. Uh, I'll be going for 2P Giovanni and Yuzarian going for 1P Giovanni. So this will give, give Yuzarian the chance to catch up a little bit. Yeah. But of course, there's the risk of getting uh, getting a rough fight here. Uh, getting a, uh, you, we don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Let's let the fight happen, and then after yeah. the Duck Trio guys, we're going to explain what the problems of doing 1P Giovanni. Instead, we can actually talk about Aspect doing Rival 5. Yeah, that should be pretty easy for, for Aspect. Zara is fast enough, strong enough to get through this fight. You could just set up an X special attack, uh, then an X speed immediately after, and then you sweep the fight. Okay, I think Yuzarian is safe. Yeah, Yuzarian is safe. That was close. I talked very early, but Every, everything's the, fine. Still within quick attack range, so he'll have to heal afterwards. He will have to unfortunately have to take an extra menu to heal because yeah. nine is just not good enough. But Abby will also have to take that extra menu to heal to get the rapid dash back up. So it's not like he's yeah. losing time for on Abby. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see like what other strats is uh, gonna happen. So, Yuzarin does have the advantage of having a very good start, coming up to 51. 144! That is absolutely busted. <laughs> Power of friendship. Oh my, this this probably can just, like, X, X special once on champion and kill it with Thunderbolt on plus two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, that's an interesting avenue back into the run. Like, that's... That, that that is some special attack right there. So yeah, this is absolutely like two x special. Like this is probably two x special. Uh, not two x special. Um, uh, Lorelei, absolutely. Yeah, I this mean, already definitely. clears plus four jinx. All right, so Abby's gonna go into the rival five fight here. Yeah. Uh, I actually don't know why on the speed. Like, I know if you have enough speed on Eevee, you can skip the X speed. Yeah. I don't know if either of our runners have the ability think, to skip X speed. Yeah. I think LB Star had unevolved 100 speed at like 46 or something. So I, I think well, Albie does Star have enough speed. So this is one fight where Albi does have a little bit of an advantage over Yazarian because she can skip X speed. She does she not have to go that. for. Although she does not have enough psychics to go for the um, 
skull full of a psychical Marowak. Sadly. She only has three also, psychics. Also, I did not double check that she actually has speeds. That was just based off of the memory of, of her. Oh, no, she, she, uh, she's, she's, she's confirmed she's it. Okay. She has, she has commented that she does have enough speed. Okay, good. As we can also see, she's not expeding this turn right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well that saves a little bit of money for her. Uh, which is bad news for Yuzarian. Yeah. But now we head over to... Uh... No, no, uh... What's this train again? Naomi? That's Naomi, yeah. yes. Shout out to Naomi, please. <laughs> and... Yeah. Aspect going for Yuki. Definitely respectable. Does not... I mean, has... Probably a special attack somewhere in the 130s. So, so uh, this is not the, the fight that you that you want to see if you're in the lead and, and just want to win the race. So yeah, so the correct decision. Playing it, you know, 100% safe. Like you don't need to take any gamblers if you don't need to. And also, Hydro Pump just missed. Although, can you act special? Like, ugh, this is a bit of an awkward situation. Guess you have to risk the Hydro Pump again. Then. This is still fine. It is still fine. There we go. Okay. Rough fight. We got there but... eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a iffy fight, but you know, he's still definitely very much ahead. Yeah, the HP is also enough. Uh, they won't have to heal until yeah. they get to the free here. So they yeah. should be fine. Two missing class already. And still probably has a few more hydro pumps to go technically optimal because Rapid Dash won't be gaining XP now until it gets healed, which is one whole fight, but still. <laughs> yeah. You gotta look on the bright side. <laughs> exactly. Alright, so I'm going to assume that Albi's probably going to take the 2P strat for the Kangaskhan. It would not surprise me if Yazarian chooses to go for 1P for Naomi. I haven't paid much attention to Yazarian's defensive stat line. Like, we all know that Stars like cracked in terms of offense, but yeah. Crunch into Sucker Punch is still always exceptionally scary. Yeah. I feel like this is the one fight where you maybe don't want to gamble even if you try to try to catch up to someone. Yeah, special attack on the Hypno. Let's see if this Hypno becomes a bit of a pain. Thunderbolt getting the two at KO is nice. So. The juggler is not that bad of a fight. Let's see. Albi, will you be summoning the two player controller? This will be the most interesting thing to see. Yeah, I would be surprised if she didn't, honestly. Yeah? Yeah. But Seems like Albi is mostly playing for second place right now, which is. Yeah. Uh, Trying to keep the lead spread. as much as uh, she can while also playing it safe. Whereas Yazarian, if he wants second place, he absolutely needs to uh, take some gambas. Who know? Actually, his special attack might be so good that he might even. Cons I I wouldn't be surprised if he considers hydro pumping Agatha. I hope I hope he doesn't do that in a race setting. Also, he does go for one C here, which is huge. All right, strap in for one C Naomi. I mean, Ali getting the plus four scald on the Kanga to make up for the mist pump. Hey, here comes um, the first 1P Naomi of a tournament, if I'm not mistaken. Unless yeah. one happened yesterday and I'm not quite sure. Crunch. Ooh, not defense, yeah. no defense. Oh. Just simply Hits. hit the pump. There we go. Pace off. Okay. Huge. But Kerbis also did that. Okay. Oh, okay. Alexa skip for aspects. Yeah, that's that's so yeah, smooth. That's where you see the veteran, the veteran runner in aspect. All right, well. Well, that's one fight saved for a uh, Yazarian time wise, and considering the fact that Albi has to go for two B strats. Uh, yeah, they're literally this one will be more push. time save, but also a lot more risks, and uh, I know from experience. I know from experience that uh, uh, Lance can be a pain. 
so. They're literally that one boulder push apart right now, Ali and Lucerin. It's yeah, so close between the two. this is absolutely wild. They're so also, close. Aspect, Aspect is having a bit of trouble pump. with um, Caroline. Missing two hydro pumps. There we go. So that's like that four hydro pumps for Aspect being missed. <laughs> Aspect screaming oh, to the like void cool. this entire <laughs> run. Um. So bad for them. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, uh, what's happening there? I am, uh, night, uh, I'll be doing 2P juggle announcement. Don't know what happened there, but that means that Yusarian has a chance to pass here. Also gets put to sleep. Oh, this is rough for both Ooh, of them. Ooh, no. I mean, thank you. The stomp didn't in. pick up the hell, oh no. So this might actually make it so that Yusarian goes the in pumpkin. the <laughs> That Yeah, now they're tied, but because of you know, the second player being out, it's going to be slightly slower for Albi to get yeah, we'll out see of. How, we'll see how Caroline shapes up, but, uh... Yeah. Uh, looks like Albi forgot to x back on the first yeah. turn. Oh, that's rough. Well, they're neck and neck, truly. Yeah, they're uh, now truly neck and neck. I... This is the closest race of the tournament so far. Yep. It Except is absolutely... Pushing a boulder. Anyone's game. Oh, As yes, Aspect's doing the most in most exciting thing in the entire run. Pushing a boulder 20 oh. times. Oops, I'll be pushing it one too far. Yeah, this is but... still, still recoverable. Yeah, Thankfully, is Officer Jenny is... Uh... Uh, up away, there Walk we around. go. Yeah. <laughs> then down, there we go. Yeah, that'll work. And again, okay, safe dead. <laughs> Officer Jenny saves the day again. Did Aspect try to skip the train again? Maybe. <laughs> Imagine if Verona actually does skip the train. It's like, oh, I'll go back. Fine. Yeah, you do have to go back. You can't skip yeah, You do have to fight the train in this category. If you accidentally skip it, you should. You have to go, you have to go back to fight. Okay. Alexa, skip for Yazarian. All right, let's see how... Gets it. Solid. Power whip. Now Alexa, skip for Albi. Oh, also. Hey. And now it's Caroline time. Yeah. Yeah, this is another one of those deciding, potentially deciding fights for the two. Yeah, yeah. Between lovely Christmas like, and possibility of freezes, anything can go wrong or right yeah. on Caroline. Special lovely, lovely kiss. kiss. Yep, there's a, there's a sleep. Find okay. me awakenings. Ice beam. No, no freeze. freeze. Can go for the hydro pump. I beam on oh. Albi's side, no freeze, so they're basically back in sync, assuming that the pump lands. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And now just like one Pokemon apart from each other. Incredible. This is so As close. now Aspect heads into the Elite Four. And it would not surprise uh, me if Aspect just says, you know what, I want to finish this race first. I am going to see. Oh, yeah, he did see it before the store, so he is at least playing Agatha safely and wouldn't be surprised if he plays every fight from here on out just safe being like first is in the bag i don't think even if any of these runners go for one piece stuff like they can even catch up so yeah wouldn't surprise notably i'm noticing that yeah. yozarian star is 52 here versus albi's star being at 51 which means yozarian used an extra candy along the way this might induce like bruno turnarounds which yeah. will like be push like eight to ten seconds worth of time onto Zarian. Oh yeah, if you use an extra red candy, you do get turnarounds earlier. That's why you don't use an extra red candy. Yep. So despite Albi locking in her safe strats, there's uh, there's that to consider on Zarian's side as well. It's so close. Yeah, there are two pushes apart right now on this border. <laughs> And still, for se at least for second place, it's still anyone's game. Absolutely. Unless Aspect throws hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Let's not curse anyone. We have this lower light fight now for Aspect. This should be pretty safe. Uh, can probably afford to just set up the plus six. Yeah. Does depend on this special. Does depend. Wait, what is that in his body? Is that Much door? a gold okay. duck? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not expecting Golduck in this party, but you know what? 
It is a bird slash fish, which allows you to push through Agatha with safe 2C strats. Okay, it's a fish. I, I get it. I see. It's actually more of a duck, but you know. Oh, that is a bird. It's a... Well, ducks are birds, so you know. That makes sense. You know what also is a bird? bird is Venomoth. Yes. Only because technically it joined the Star Wars Street. See, listen, all conversations about Pokemon end up circling back to birds. It's just like how all paths lead to crab. All Pokemon discussion leads back to birds. Alright, I think we do not want to start a civil war in the in the Pokemon Pokemon Speaker and TV chat, so let's ignore let's just point put that to the side and have that debate somewhere else. Yeah. Aspect Zarin does pick up the first Zarin does pick up the four restore. Abby can so skip it because... Dot and Albi does skip it because, again, she does not have any expert defenses. So and they exit Victory Road within one and a half seconds of each other. Yeah, this is the 307 pace probably for both of them, which is excellent for Albi considering that would be a five yeah. minute PD for her. I guess... Well, Yazarian has enough special attack that he can just go two X specials on Lorelei, whereas... Uh, Albi... Nah, nah, I didn't quite catch Albi's special attack. I think she's just like a bit low of an aspect, so she probably has to go for the three. So let's see. It'll also be interesting to see if Yozarian chooses to actually deposit the Rapidash almost immediately to see if he's actually committed to doing one P or at least keep the option open for two P. Yeah, at this point, I'm pretty sure that you're forced no, he's, to at the stage in the game. Him. Yup, he's committed to two, he's committed to one P now. It's a race. It is a race between these two. <laughs> right, Albie does put Golduck in the thing, which I guess now brings back the third discussion. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's still absolutely anyone's race to win. I guess last but race well, to lose. Yeah, this, but this would be a race to the land between Albi and uh, Albi yeah, and Yeah, this is definitely so... the second place deciding race where if something, if one thing goes bad for Yazarian, though. Yeah, we're, we're looking for, on this fight specifically, how many X specials Yazarian is using, and also to see whether we get turnarounds or not due to that extra rare candy. He should so... only use two here, because if it's Oof, excellent, so that's two, that. one for Albi. Yeah, yeah, and Yuzarin's got this for... Two, four, Yuzarin. I think she has to... Uh, she's risking it, okay. She's risking two. So, so she's gonna have to go for the... Yeah, she's gonna have to go for the Hydro Pump on Jinx, I think, with her special mm -hmm. attack. I don't think she has a good squad range. I think this is definitely a good choice from Albi, knowing that she has time to lose later versus the 1C yeah. strats that Yuzarin is doing. It does get the Lapras range if it is a range. The do see aspect, aspect. Yeah. The second control of Wagatha. Correct decision to go for full safety here. That was land the pump. Solid. Very good, very nice. Meanwhile, so Aspect good. taking a nice casual stroll through Agatha's fight with TC. Yeah, it's a bit of a victory then for them. Yeah. One whole fight ahead. Nothing really to talk about. Nothing really to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Aspect. I'm pretty sure, like, gold. Why is gold specifically picked? Is like, is it because of like move? I guess it's more about the ordering of. It forces Weezing out next specifically because either way, if you target Starmie or Golduck or a bird, yeah, like Weezing flyer, comes out because of Thunderbolt. Weezing comes out because of Thunderbolt, and you definitely do not want to see Gengar come out next because it will just wreck your Starmie. Yeah. Because by that time, you haven't set up the next speed. Yeah, makes sense. All right, we'll see if we have Yuzarian gets any turnarounds here. That will make it so that it is slower for Yuzarian to go through Bruno. But I don't think Albi's going to get any turnarounds yet. Safely out of faint range for Yuzarian. Very nice. Uh, does not have enough psychics to go for. Thing does get turnarounds. Ah, uh, that's rough for him. So Yuzarian has reached that friendship threshold one round or, or one fight earlier these turnarounds when you get a special effective hit or super effective hit rather yeah. waste two seconds two, each 
The two are 10 seconds apart coming out of Agatha. I, I looked at the clock for that. So these turnarounds will probably mean that they're right back neck and neck with each other. Yeah. Uh, Albie's special attack is 135 at level 52. Yeah, this almost like guarantees a range on the Dragonite. Probably 13, and 16 or better. And is 149. No, I Jeez. think... Uh, that is absolutely busted, but 135 at 52, I think that should be like a 14 or 15 and 16 range on Dragon Eye. Yeah, that should just be enough to be like a very favorable range. But remember, Albi is going for 2P, so it is going to be completely safe. Yeah. For her. Going into <laughs> the Elite Four. Alright, meanwhile, Aspect is on Nance already. So Yazarian is still a bit ahead. Just about five to six seconds on the fight though, because of the turnaround. So fade about is 48. 51. About three. Three to four. Second. But Abby doesn't menu here. Just goes in with 2C. I think you're fine. Yeah, yeah that's that's hey, no, you're play. completely fine. You don't have to heal. Yeah. Because you turn one X special plus. Uh, yeah, you X uh, psychic and then you X speed and then yeah. you just heal instead of and then and heal use your like ethers. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, the Can issue even... here is going to be what path Yuzarin ends up taking through this fight. There are some paths that are much faster than others and some that are much slower. So this is the. Uh, glare fight, so normal glare. Do you have to full restore? Oh boy, it okay, does okay. do we'll power we'll love. We'll fight, we'll fight, we'll fight. So saves the full yeah. restore turn. Was a bit scary because we did see uh, the defense drop, but thankfully uh, the Path of Legends helped us out. Yeah, without that power of love breakthrough, the second crunch. Possibly would have put Yazarin yeah. in quick attack. Although to be fair, Yazarin does have like so high special attack that if he really wants to, he can risk some pumps. I don't think at this he point won't. definitely not the play here due to you knowing that Albi is locked into yeah. safe strats. You, are, you also know that you are slightly, still slightly ahead, so it's not like you have to risk it. But if you were behind, I think you would probably risk a pump strat. I'm sweating so much right now. It's only yeah. nine in the morning. <laughs> well, you're gonna be awake for the rest of the day, that's for sure. Also, uh, yeah, well, Aspect Psychic does get the um, Rain on Dragonite, so. Very nice. Gets to the no problem with the 2C strat. Uh, I'll be on the last Pokemon right here. Has the benefit of being able to both heal to full and use the elixir during yeah. the fight. So it does have to do that. Do you have to the bolt? the Gyarados. Because if you Elixir and Psych... Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you don't have now 10 Psychics, you now have 9 Psychics. Yeah, that's true. So you do have to Thunderbolt one thing in uh, the Elite Four in Lance's fight. Yeah. Uh, you still keep it to just... okay. Yeah. I guess that's a different strat for Lance. That I'm not aware of, where you just keep the 2P. I, re I remember the 2P strat where you unsummon 2P and then summon it after the Seedra, but I guess he's doing, I guess she's doing the uh, slower 2P strat. So, uh, here you're Does have a set of the XP. Doesn't, I believe the first move missed, and the second move is a Hyper Beam, so. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the second or the third one, or the third one. Uh, a little this, more. Should be, this should be the third one. Okay, we're fine. And yeah, you're fine. Uh, and his special attack is absolutely good enough to just to ascend it. Yeah. So it's going to go into the champ fight with a huge lead, but... Oh, the Seedra. Oh, what happened to that? What happened to that? That's 11 yeah. HP. Probably just a hyper beam on the Starmie, but yeah. should be totally fine to heal through the fight after a yeah. couple of more X specs. Yeah, yeah I don't think any defense. Pokemon has priority in Lance's team, so we should be fine. Oh, it's a hyper beam crit. That's what happened. 
Well, that'll do, yeah. <laughs> anyway, aspects. Just sweeping the champion with a with a gold axe strat, no issues at all. Uh, closing out a close run for a long stretch of it. Uh, did I just see 154 special? Which is I mean, it's 55, right? But that's just so so busted. It's gonna be able to just plus two Thunderbolt the uh, uh, the Pidgey yacht, which. That's a 14 and 16, but yes. Is it? Yes. Uh, I have a note. Uh, plus two okay. Thunderbolt at 154. Well, to be fair, this is level 53, so there might be some level scenario yeah. going on, but yeah, but it says 152 to 154 okay, so is a 14 and 16. Okay. It's only at 156, is guaranteed. Wow, okay. So even with uh, as busted as the storm, he's still a range on that plus two. It's still a range of plus two. We can go to plus four. Yeah, and, and psychic, just, yeah, yeah. And just, yeah. Uh, yeah, plus four psychic is 100% guaranteed at 139. Yeah. GG's to Aspect, as Albi does hit the range on the Dragonite with just the Starmie. Yeah. Very nice. So, that's going to be a three of five-ish. A three of four, low three of five, four. Yeah. Aspect very good run, uh, even with the minus attack. Very game. unfortunate things early game, and then just yeah. Starmie not hitting its mark late game. Yeah. Oh, remember, this is not quite over because uh, anything can happen in champion. So the second place rate, it, I'm only saying second place is guaranteed or like good enough when you know bad things don't happen. So, I mean, one. So, if it, there's okay. the XP, then you need the X special. Nice That's avoid! Miss. Okay. Very solid. X special. Nice miss, miss again! <laughs> okay, that's what set is up the Starmie's another. evasiveness? Goodness. Okay, yeah, you're safe. Now. Safe. You're, 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 you just hit. I, well, you didn't even need the Thunderbolt. Yeah, I could have psychic, but. I guess miss input. Potentially, but yeah. Who gets it over the line. And I'll be getting the. The setup on turn one for Pidgeot now as well. Also, X speed, X special. 30511. Yeah, this is definitely this is how you get paid off uh, for using the one C strat. Uh, huge GG to you, Sarian, for taking that gamble. Uh, and if you want an example of how not to get paid off with doing one piece strats, uh, go to my race and you'll see why. <laughs> oh, what a terrible start! Oh, oh welcome in aspects. Right. Yeah, that was uh, uh, that was rough. Yeah. Like, like tell us, like, what was your thought like after seeing like minus attack peak? And I think you had like a couple of breakouts on the Weedle and Forest too. Or yeah, it broke out Raz excellence, but I guess burying bugs is a is a scam. Apparently. Yeah, I thought you we were gonna uh, have. And then. Mount Moon was also terrible. Yeah, you were like 13 going to the Drowsy fight, I believe. And like GG's yeah, to the... Yozarian finishing his champ fight now. Yeah. Probably yeah. be a 307, mid 307, if I'm not mistaken. The super sized Sandshrew kind of saved me a bit. Oh, yeah, I remember that. But yeah, it was like it was both hell. a blessing and a curse. It you also, still had Butterfree in your party. Yeah, at the I time. was I was greeting trying to go get up one menu in. Like I could have deposited all that way earlier. And Starmie clicking Thunderbolt on slow row means GG's to Albi. Goodness, this is such uh, a good race between all three of you. Holy crap! Out of three hundred and eight. Yeah, wow. three hundred and eight for Albi. Incredible PB for her. Yeah, I think that's what a four and a half minute PB at minimum. Yeah, that's huge. That's that's wild and that's amazing. It's four minutes and forty eight seconds that it says right now. Oh, hello, Albie. <laughs> hello. You already already hopping in the call. Congratulations. I'm and that friend that was just muted. Yeah, you know, fair enough. And I'm sure we'll get you Zarian in as well to to talk about how the race played out. Yeah, he's there and had just, a bit of a time. Yeah, if Pidgeot had just killed Duck, that would have been a 3 or 4 as well. Hmm. 
Oh yeah. By the way, I only picked the duck because it was the first one I found, but I like the duck strat, so I might just search for it in the future. It is a good strat, uh, because with what Dana mentioned specifically for the 2C Agatha fight, uh, baiting out the specific thing that you want out next after defeating Arbok. Either way, uh, Yuzarian has now also joined us. Yuzarian, yeah, how are you feeling yeah. after that? Before I say anything, I want to say Albi did a really amazing run, and I had to YOLO a lot of stuff there at the end. Yeah, she, she forced your hand in the end game, essentially. Yeah. yeah um, I had the embarrassing fight against the uh, Hypno Trainer, though, where I <laughs> forgot that special attack and panicked, but... <laughs> Mine had like mm-hmm. super highs and super lows, like super sized Pikachu, and then no Rhyhorn, no Castly. Like it was just all over the place. Oh. At least you guys could hit hydro pumps though. Oh yeah, that's... yeah. Imagine hitting hydro pumps aspect, right? So glad I didn't have to go for any of them. <sighs> I missed yeah, the Naomi just... one, but that's oh, also one where I went safe, so that's fine. Yeah, the, the plus four Scald was a good backup, for sure. I feel like I saw a million Psyducks, and... Oh, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, you did not oh, get your, your mount Pokemon until the very, very last possible second. And just, like, we're all hoping for some fast movement speed for you. That was a weird catch route, I will say. Um, even from the Chansey that popped up in Mount Moon, like... <laughs> Oh, very weird, but GG's. GG's, everyone. Yeah, GG's. GG. Yeah, and I had a minus attack and reset the EV, I think. So. I got yeah. a lot of I, I had yeah. as well. with, um, Plus <laughs> but... speed, a bunch of speed, and the attack EVs. Yeah, my star was just... ridiculous, though. Yeah, I just have to say again, Nusarian, with. with... Having to reset for the backup uh, EV and hitting, I think, two optionals during the run. A 307 is still an incredible time for And a also Thanks. re-editing your shop. <laughs> oh yeah, that's you. So that's much. Oh. Two mistakes I've literally never made before is that shop and then that trainer um, uh, by all the Psyducks where I went for the Abra. Never yeah. done that before. So, fun times. <laughs> yeah, first time for everything. And honestly, very, like, many props to you also for just, like, picking up this game very quick like you you and albie both for sure like have learned this game very well thanks over thanks. a very short period of time i have not learned this over a short period of time or fair but really good pb yeah. today though mm-hmm. i had another sub 310 pace yesterday but i freaked up when i was um what was i did um Oh, I went for not healing uh, on Archer when I was in oh. when I thought I was gonna die to suck a bunch, and I did because I was already uh, kind of mad at the run, even if it was PV pace, and uh, especially the Archer fight for it being so bad. And then um, uh, I went into. Uh, the final gym fight without any revives left, one seed it and uh, died. So I just decided to stop running that one. This one went a lot better. Yeah, for sure. I'm curious yeah. to like pick your brain, Albion, on like what your thoughts were like going into the end game because I'm sure like you were watching the race and watching Yuzarian basically mm-hmm. like one step behind you all the way through to the end. Like, what were your thoughts, like, going into the end game and just, like, figuring out, like, what you were going to do for, like, Victory Road and Geo, etc.? Well, prepping already from shopping, I kind of decided that I was on a good enough run that uh, I didn't want to risk anything. Whether mm-hmm. I could get to uh, second place or not, I wasn't sure, but I just wanted to be- get this one to finish just because of how good of a run it was. Mm-hmm, for sure. And um, after that, uh, I basically only went for uh, risks that were pretty favorable to me, except for Lorelei, where uh, I risked at 10 and 16 range on the Lapras uh, and the Hydro Pump there. 
Oh, jeez, I didn't realize it was that bad. Oh, the attack yeah. 16. I knew it was a range because you didn't have the greatest special attack in the world, but I didn't realize it was a 10 and 16. Oh, 10 and 16 is still favorable, but it's not great. I feel like I almost never died in Lorelei, so it's like, fuck it. <laughs> Let's just go for it. Fair. If but, anything, um, Lorelei is the safest thing to, to YOLO. Also, he's yeah. like, I need to ask you one question. Uh, I believe you're the one who saw the shiny Caterpie. Why yeah. did you not go for it? I really wanted to catch it, but it wasn't lured. So I was like, can I? Valid. I, if I would have caught it and it leveled up like four more levels, Albie might have won. You know? Yeah, but, that yeah. could have been the difference, honestly. <laughs> but I still feel like I should have done it. Gotta That's all right. There will be more shinies. <laughs> yeah. And then I got a shiny Oddish that, that you looked couldn't access. the cutscene. So I could not get it, even if I wanted to. Those are the most troll ones where they're like behind the cutscene trigger. I think it's like two in one race is still the most amount of shinies. I don't think we've seen like the trifecta of shinies yet in a race, as as far as I'm aware. I have to ask T Pat for last year's stats for that. I know we've seen two. We we had two last year because I know that because in my race I caught a shiny graveler that was actually optimal. I had a shiny Snorlax last year. Yeah. Oh, we were you were the one with the Snorlax. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, we were both in the same race. It was also another time zone race, which was fun. Amazing. Well, uh, do you have any more thoughts, last thoughts, anyone? Before we wrap things up? Not particularly, no. Not particularly. All right, then. Then let's look ahead at our upcoming races in the tournament, I would say. Uh, coming up next, closing out this weekend of races tonight at 5.30 p.m. Yes, that's correct. It's Etiquette versus PM. Eastern, that is. about five and a bit hours from now. Exactly. It's going to be Etiquette versus King Traps versus, I'm going to say, Awo. Awo, yes. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, Etiquette, of course, is an, another veteran Let's Go and Runner, former world record holder, and also fellow semi finalist in, in last year's tournament. Probably going to want to prove his form in this new format, so that'll be interesting to watch. Uh, then going to next week on Tuesday at 4 p.m., it's going to be Headstrong versus Iron versus Yexo. Yexo, a very new runner, just posted a 308 PB yesterday, entirely skipping the 310 area, which is Incredibly scary. So, Headstrong and Iron are, are probably going to have to work for their points if they don't want an upset to happen. And closing out, closing out the first round on Wednesday, we have a double feature of uh, Thomas Patrick WX versus Furious versus a name that I don't know how to pronounce again. So, <laughs> that's going to be starting at 3 p.m. Eastern and not pictured here the rescheduled race between Render East Cheese, Pokedex Sadi, and Burner at 6 30 on the same day. Uh, two exciting races to settle the scores in the first round of this new format, so make sure to tune in. And I'll be uh, commentating on the last race, so if you like my mm -hmm. commentary, you're going to hear me again. Alrighty, with all that said, I want to extend another GG to the runners. It was a great race to commentate, truly. Yes, absolutely Very fantastic fun. race, GG yeah, to all of you. Great, great. Ups and downs, and the nail-biting finish at the end was absolutely a fantastic race to see. All right, thank you so much. And that's going to be it for us for now. Uh, make sure to follow the channel to find your way back to us for that 5.30 p.m. race later today. Until then, have a great day, and we hope to see you soon.